Welcome back, everyone, to the Russell Do It Center countdown to kickoff. Brett Pritchard and Randy Lee here at Central Clay High School as the Wildcats here in week number two get set to take on the Volunteers. Randy, a rival matchup here that has grown over the last decade, and uh, the Volunteers have gotten the best of us the last three years. Uh, the series record is tied at four apiece. Uh, so uh, this is what high school football is all about. Again, rain uh, throughout the day and a little bit of a scare, uh, but – the clouds have parted here over Volunteer Stadium, and we're in for a good night, hopefully, of weather all the way through. And uh, you and I were on the field. Uh, the grass is really thick. I haven't been able to cut it. It's it's wet. I mean, it's very wet still, and uh, just not much you can do. They've had really, really hard rains almost every day for the last week and a half. So I uh, talked to Coach Horn before the game and, and Coach Grider. So, they're ready to get it started. Yeah, you go down there, and uh, it is going to be sloppy out there tonight. But, you know, hopefully we can carry over what we did well last week, which was throw the football all around the park. Uh, had a school record in passing yards last week and hope to see much of the same here tonight. You said a mouthful when you talked about a rivalry. Uh, you got to win your fair share to make it called a rivalry. And in this um, – in these two teams, both teams have won four games, but listen to the score discrepancy in those eight outings. 193 points scored by the Wildcats, 188 points scored by Central Clay. I'd call that a pretty even matchup, Brett, and hopefully we can get back on the winning side tonight. Yeah, no doubt about it. Uh, you know, that's, uh, again, when you look at the point discrepancy across a rivalry when it's that close, you know, we had a 3-1 series lead, and they won the last three to – to, to even this thing up. And, you know, just so much intertwined in this rivalry. Coach Horn spent 10 years with us in, in Alexander City and a lot of guys coaching over there have been part of the Benjamin Russell staff at one point in time. And uh, just a lot of connection. Everybody kind of knows each other as well. And the kids know each other and follow each other. So that's what makes it so much fun. And, uh, again, thank goodness out here, pretty weather, people piling in from every direction. Uh, they'll be piling in through the first quarter, and, and uh, uh, again, it's just nothing you can do about it. Traffic backed up all directions. Uh, our captains are out on the field. Randy, I'll let you run them down here shortly. Coin toss brought to you by Scotty Gordon, Cornerstone Insurance and Financial Group, Auto Home Life, and Commercial. Number seven, Ty Williams, a senior, 5'8", 150 pounds. Number 18, not too often you see a freshman out as captain, but he's a super kid and a great three-sport athlete. Elijah Johnson, 5'10", 175 pounds. You got one of our offensive linemen, big number 69. That's Colin Thompson out there, 6'2", 255. And number 17 in his second year, starting at outside linebacker. He's a junior, Caden Hyde. Yeah, good-looking kids. And you just said something there. Elijah Johnson is a freshman week two. Uh, finds himself as one of the Wildcat captains. So, tells you a lot about that, that kid and what the team thinks of him as far as his leadership at such a young age. Both sets making their way out to midfield for the Scotty Gordon Cornerstone Insurance coin toss. About four minutes out from the first half kickoff coming your way here. Glad you joined us here on the Wildcat Football Network. Whether you're tuning us in on NFHS and watching the stream or listening to it on 97.5 Kalaja Country. Our good friend Tommy Wood, the PA announcer, so you'll you'll hear his voice calling the action out here tonight. And uh, he recognized our broadcast partner, Wes Coleman, before the game. Right. And, um, you know, our thoughts and prayers continue to go out to Coach Coleman. I know he's out there listening, and uh, hopefully we can bring a win back because he would be cheering pretty hard up oh, here Oh, absolutely. Us. He's watching. I can promise you that. And continuing to get stronger and stronger. And looking forward to having him back. We had the flip of the coin. Head official tonight is Mike Wilson. Wildcats win the toss and defer to the second half. So, Wildcats win that Scotty Gordon Cornerstone Insurance and Financial Group coin toss. And we'll choose to take the football in the second half. So we will kick off. And we'll have our defense on the field first. And we'll see what Clay Central has in the offensive playbook. They haven't played a game yet. They haven't played a jamboree or a regular season game. This is their first action of the 2022 season. Wildcats, this is their third game if you count the jamboree against Madison Academy in last week's 
dominating win against Sylacauga. We do know they'll be very well prepared. Coach Horn brings a physical environment around his football program. Uh, his son, Chase Horn, who I think a lot of, uh, will keep us off balance. You know, Chase is not one that just wants to come out here in the wishbone and run the football. Uh, the games that we've lost over the last three years, Brett, I really think throwing the football down the field has been our nemesis. They've hit us with some deep balls down the middle of the field. Yeah, they've been able to exploit some things. and You know, it'll uh, – It'll be there tonight. They've got a young quarterback uh, that will be quarterback in here tonight, Darren Harris, number 14. He's 6'1", 155 pounds, his first start as a volunteer. Woo! And the Wildcats come on the field. Great crowd here. Cars still backed up every direction. You know what they have for sure on Clay Central sides. They got a good looking running back. He's a senior, Terry Heflin, 6'1", 185. Brett, over there in those red uniforms with those navy pants, it just seems like can, every year they get one of these 6'1", 6'2", looking running backs back there in the backfield, and that'll be their bread and butter tonight. They'll want to lean on us and see if they can run the football early. So listen out yep. for Terry Heflin's name a lot here tonight against the Wildcats. Yeah, they've been, hey, they've been rolling these guys out for years. And, uh, All the way gotta, back. You know, right. I remember standing right here with you and uh, – we had the wrong number. roster that right. night, and Cameron Peoples ran all the way up and down <laughs> the field against us, and they had a number 26 on the program that was listed at yeah. 130 pounds it and a freshman. Him. You and I were looking at each other going, that, and that doesn't look that like something's add up. up. Yeah, so. that's not adding up. All right, so Wildcats will kick off left to right. Noah Alsabrook will kick. Left to right, Wildcats in the white. Jerseys, silver pants, maroon headgear. Central Clay in those red jerseys, white numerals, smoke gray pants trimmed in red in the navy blue headgear. Gorgeous night here in Clay County for football. They'll send two guys back deep. One of them's Heflin back here on the right side. So they'll have Santuan Akles and Terry Heflin back deep. Tallapoosa. Ford. First half kickoff is going to be right to Heflin at the three-yard line. He's going to bring it out to the 15, to the 20, to the 25, and he's going to be bowled over at around the 27, 28. So a good return that time by Terry Heflin. Good tackle right there by number 20, Aquavius Marbury, 5'9", 165-pound freshman in on that opening stop of the football game. Let's see what Clay Central comes out in offensively. We've seen a lot of different formations from them over the years, but you do expect them to want to run the football at us. Uh, active arm, live arm back there at quarterback, though, the first time we've seen him. Harris will be in the shotgun, Heflin beside him. To the left, ball here on the 30-yard line, actually on about the 29. First down and 10. Man in motion right to left. That's Damian Cosby takes the snap. Going to hand it to Heflin right side. Heflin going to get across the 30 up to around the 32, maybe the 33-yard line, a little slow developing over there on the right side. But Heflin able to pick up some positive yards. It brings up second down. Held that football in the belly a long time. We'll have to watch him running the football tonight. Zy Owens, Caden Hyde in on the stop. We'll call it three yards, second and seven. Shotgun formation. Sent a man in motion left to right now. He's trying to go toss sweep it over here to Heflin. Heflin's hit from behind right there. And that's Ty Williams dropping him at the 33-yard line. No gain on the play. It'll be third and seven. Ty's a very physical corner, played safety last year, loves to come up and run support, had a really good week last week. Expect the same here tonight. No gain there on second down. Better third and seven. Action. We're in cover two. We got two deep safeties yeah. back trying to look for that home run hitter yeah. down the middle. Yeah, got to watch here. Third down and seven play action possibility here. One receiver down to the bottom, one to the top. Ball in the middle of the field. Waiting for the snap, shotgun snap, going to turn around, fake it, going to roll out, going to sidearm pass over here. And he hit by Malcolm Simmons, and he's going to be short of a first down pass complete out here to Bryant Hamlet, but he's going to be two full yards short of a first down and to bring up fourth. Nice looking pass across the body, and uh, I got my first woo in there, and that was a nice stroke by Malcolm yeah, Simmons. He bounced off of him, After though. After a three or four yard gain, it's fourth down. Look, they're going to go for it. Looks like they'll keep the offense in. Fourth down, it's at least two yards to go, and they'll come out in the wishbone. Well, you better watch a hard snap count right here. Hard snap count coming up, I promise you, from Harris. 
They got the wishbone formation. Now they're going to slide back and punt. Five seconds on the play clock. Four, three, not set. Finally get it off. It's going to be a quick kick. Going to kick it over here. Ty Williams is going to be able to field it. 35-40, broke a tackle up to the 45-yard line. Goes Ty Williams. So good defense that time by the Wildcats on the opening possession there, holding them to a three and out. And the Wildcats will take over at around their own 45. We've seen that call from Coach Horn a lot of times. I remember Cole Grogan would come in the football game and get them to jump off sides and pick up uh, first downs over and over. Great job by our defense not jumping and a good job by Ty not letting that ball roll down. Here comes the offense for the Wildcats. Set records last week. Three receivers down here to the bottom, one to the top. Gabe Benton will be by himself in the shotgun formation. Takes the snap. Going to roll out over here to the right. Looking. Going to throw underneath and pass is incomplete. He threw it behind Nuke McKinney down here around the 39-40 yard line. That time Gabe had plenty of time, rolled the pocket, and kind of threw it behind McKinney. Brings up second down and 10. Yeah, flood the zone in the trips. Got two open receivers there. This one he'd like to have back, set those feet, throw a strike in there to McKinney. But we had open receivers. That's good to see. And uh, going to send one back back there in the backfield, and that's Malcolm Simmons yeah. to start this one. Yeah, we didn't see Malcolm back there very much. Last week, second down and 10. Chris Foster in motion right to left. Gabe takes the snap, going to drop back to pass. He's got a man down the field. It's Corey Milner. He's got it. 10, 5, touchdown, Wildcats. All day long to throw the football to Corey Milner. 65, excuse me, 55 yards on the touchdown reception. Can't throw it any better than that. A flag pattern down this left sideline. This ball's thrown inside somewhat. Great job in recognition by the senior receiver. 6'3", 175 pounder, brings it in, keeps the stride into the end zone. What a start to the season for well, Corey Miller. Well, what a start for Gabe Benton, too. I mean, good Lord, both of these guys have had magic so far in this early going. And let me tell you something, Gabe had all day to throw it. And I'm telling you, Corey Milner had his man beat by 10 yards. Extra points up and good from Noah Alsabrook. And we have your first score of the game, 7 nothing. Wildcats here, 9.22 to go here in the first quarter. That is your SNS discount tire score. We'll keep it right here. And it doesn't take long to recap the Patterson truck parts and towing. Drive recap, two plays, went 55 yards. Beautiful pass, junior quarterback, 6'3", 210, throws it up in the air, puts enough air under that Corey can read it. He turn lost back it there. Yeah. Well, he was cut. It was a flag right, pattern, right. old school. I don't know what we call it out here, but it's an old school flag. Turns his head back inside, finds the football, perfectly thrown ball, though, uh, in stride, and Corey catches it, and nobody in that secondary is going to keep up with him. He could have had 500 yards receiving yeah. last week. Well, Didn't play but about two plays in the second half. Had 174 yards and three touchdowns. My math's not great, but that takes him over 225 and four touchdowns already on the season. Well, this is as dynamic offense as we've had in these parts for a long time. Uh, just weapons everywhere all over the field. Look, credit the offensive line. Two plays. He had all day to throw the football on both of them. Let's hope that keeps up for the rest of the night. Wildcats up 7 to nothing. 9-22, no Alsabrook to kick off, and it's going to be right back here to Terry Heflin again. It's going to be on the ground at the 15. Heflin's going to pick it up, and he takes a hard lick by Ansley Goggins down here at the 15-yard line. Nowhere to go. Again, a very slow turf out there. I didn't look like it for Corey Milner, but Terry Heflin trying to pick that ball up with pursuit coming down the field. And... Insley Goggins does what Insley Goggins does. He comes down and, and pops him. Brian Simmons also made that play. He's down this right side, makes this ball cut back inside. Um, if he tries to hit the sideline, Brian hits him there. But Insley Goggins comes up, thumpers. Murphy also in on the stop. So uh, not too good a field position all the way back to the 17 for Central Clay on their second possession. Harris in the shotgun. Heflin behind him. Harris takes the snap, going to hand it to Heflin. Heflin right up the middle. Malcolm Simmons hits him and knocks his own headgear off across the 20 up to the 23. Uh, they're going to try to give it to Heflin as much as they can. That time found some room up the middle and got up to around the 23-yard line. So we'll say a gain of about six, almost six and a half. That's three times so far early in the season. I've seen Malcolm's headgear pop off. Hopefully we can get that straightened out because he, he's going to lay that headgear yeah. on someone every opportunity he gets. That's an eight-yard gain. Actually, they'll call it six. Yeah, six. Second down and four, 8.44 to go in the first. Wildcats lead seven to nothing. Harris with the shotgun, a little quick pitch out there to Heflin. 
Heflin going to lower the headgear and get down to around the 29. That'll be enough for a volunteer first down. It looked like um, Zai got back there, and they kind of spun him around a little bit. But Ty Williams with another nice tackle on the opposite side there. And uh, Ty, he's a mini Mike. He's tough. Plays physical from the secondary. And uh, let's see if they try something on this left side as they got single coverage matched up over here with Ty. First and 10 at the 29. Harris takes the snap, going to hand it to Heflin again. Heflin going to be run down from behind back there. I believe Savon Spradley gets in on the stop that time. Both middle linebackers played well last week. Over 10 tackles for Jai Hicks. Jai misses there, but he's physical, quick into the backfield. Kind of jumps over the back, and the other middle linebacker, Savon Spradley, cleans him off. We'll call it a one-yard gain, second and nine, seven-nothing our Wildcats here under eight minutes. Two down here at the bottom with 18 seconds on the play clock, and Harris and Heflin in the backfield. They'll have an H back up there. Lined up just to the right. Going to look to pass. Going to drop back under pressure this time. Man, he goes down in a heap right there around the 28-yard line. That is D. Woods making his appearance here tonight. We really bragged on D a lot last week. 5'10", 207. Has put on a good 15, 20 pounds of muscle. Has played really well last week and good off the edge. Nice to see him in the backfield. A one-yard loss, third and 10. Third down and 10. Harris back there. Heflin behind him. They'll have four wide, two to either side. Ball close to that far side hash mark as they move right to left. Ten seconds on the play clock. They'll send Bryant Hamlet in motion. Now they'll send Trammell in motion. Four seconds, three seconds. Snap with two. Going to drop back, going to throw it over the middle. Hamlet's got it. Going to make the tackle at the 30-yard line. Ty Williams able to grab his ankles. They tried to set a pick over here, and he fought through it. And he knocked him down and around the 30-yard line. He's only going to pick up about three yards on the underneath route. So the Wildcats have held again. It'll be another punting situation for the Vols. Three tackles in the first two possessions for the corner. Ty Williams really playing well and physical back there. We'll send Malcolm Simmons back deep with his heels on our 40-yard line. You know, I watched these two kicking the, the snaps back. We're real floaty. Uh, yeah. Good looking kid so back there Malcolm kicking the football. Back here now. Malcolm standing at the 43. Gets a punt off. Malcolm's going to fair catch it up here. Bobbled it and kept, held on to it at the 40. Had a guy beating down on him, but Malcolm runs up. Fair catches it at the 40, and the Wildcats will start just five yards shy of where they started the last drive at the 40. So right now, field position been in favor of the Wildcats, and we'll run this offense back on the field. With 6-11 to go here in the first quarter, Wildcats up 7 to nothing. That's your SNS discount tire score. Central Clay sending two safeties back deep, trying to keep them. Where are they, Brett? They're 14 yeah. yards off the ball, right. just trying to keep everything underneath here. Haven't really shown a run yet. Now we do. Going to hand it off Malik right up the middle. That's a good run up to the 45. He picks up five yards right down Broadway. It brings up second down. Nice physical football by our offensive line right there. Big number 69, one of our captains, Colin Thompson, along with big number 76 right there, getting the lead on this right side for a five-yard gain, second down and five. Malik back there at running back this time. Trips to the top now, one long Receiver down here to the bottom. Going to hand it off to Malik again. Malik sidesteps one guy. Going to fall forward. Run. Great run up here in midfield. Spun off a guy and got a first down. Malik Maddox getting it done on the ground. Two five-yard runs in a row. Picks up a first down. Compliments of UAB Cardiology Associates. Wildcats at midfield. Send Malcolm Simmons back into the football game in the backfield. Newt McKinney down this bottom side. Single coverage down here at the bottom. Let's see if we look for McKinney. Gabe been in the shotgun, trips to the top. Just really nothing to lose. Yeah, one down here to the bottom. Going to hand it to Malcolm Simmons, and Malcolm broke one tackle, and he's going to be ganged up on at midfield. And you know they're going to swarm him. You know, look for that fake there to Malcolm, and then maybe a rollout. And that's going to be a heat timeout with 5.06 to go here in the game. We'll take an AM plumbing timeout on the field. Your score, Wildcat 7 Ball zero. You're listening to the Wildcat Football Network. 
Hi, this is Brian Bice with Bice Motors. With our all-star lineup of Dodge trucks, Jeep, SUVs, and Chrysler cars, we offer the area a team dedicated to making your next vehicle purchase a positive experience. Our sales team offers competitive pricing, and we back up all sales with the service department second to none. Bice Motors also offers the area's best selection of pre-owned vehicles. Visit Bice Motors at 2133 Cherokee Road in Alexander City. From the smallest drippy faucet to drain cleaning to water heater replacement to gas lines to total systems replacement, AM Plumbing handles it all. Visit amplumbing.net today for the experienced, licensed, and insured pros at AM Plumbing. AM Plumbing, AM Plumbing, service at its best when you need it most. If you need storage and the monthly fee just doesn't make sense, Cotton State Barns has the solution. Cotton State Barns has been selling top quality portable barns since 2002. You can even have a barn built on your location and you can customize a barn to your liking. Built in Alabama for Alabama. Come by and take a look at Cotton State Barns of Alex City. Financing is available. Stop paying storage fees. Get a Cotton State Barn. Cotton State Barns of Alex City. If you don't see the cotton, don't pick it. Located in 1501 Tallapoosa Street next to Alex City Transmission. Carlisle Heating and Air says it's tune-up time for your HVAC system. Having your unit tuned up increases energy efficiency and can reduce the wear and tear on your unit. Hmm. Call Carlisle Heating and Air Day at 256-234-0019 for a price. Serving the Lake Martin area, Alexander City, Daveville, Jackson Gap, and Goodwater. Don't get hot. Be cool. Call Carlisle Heating and Air today at 256-234-0019. Don't get hot. Be cool. Have you met your local farmer's insurance agent, Patrick Holina? He proudly serves Tallapoosa County and Alexander City families and businesses and is ready to review your existing policies or provide a no-obligation quote today. Call the Holina Agency at 256-234-0037 or stop in today at 704 Commerce Drive to get smarter about your insurance. Again, that's the Holina Agency, 256-234-0037. We are farmers. Underwritten by Farmers, Truck Fire Insurance Exchanges and Affiliates. Products not available in every state. Lake Mark Garage, located on Highway 280 in Jackson's Gap, has been serving our area since 1993. From routine maintenance such as oil changes, tune-ups, and rotating and balancing your tires, to transmission and engine repair, our trained and certified mechanics will get you back on the road better than before. Need a tow? With a 24-hour, 7-day-a-week towing service, Lake Mark Garage has local and long-range pickup. Trust your vehicle needs to the professionals at Lake Mark Garage. Call 256-825-6139, or better yet, stop in and see them today. Lake Martin Garage. Flowers are the easiest way to add beauty and glamour to your home or outdoors. The Potting Shed in Auburn has everything your heart desires. You'll find an array of beautiful flowers and plants that will provide inviting pops of color and texture to any area. Along with decorative pots, planters, fountains, and great gardening gifts. It's all at the Potting Shed, where elements reign supreme. Visit them today at the corner of Moore's Mill and Society Hill, or their new location on the corner of Highway 280 and North College Street in Auburn. Brubaker Brubaker Motors in Montgomery Montgomery is the the largest largest and fastest growing used car dealership in the River Region. You can absolutely get a better buy at Brubaker. It's better at Brubaker.com. Brubaker! 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 You can absolutely get a better buy at Brubaker. B-R-E-W-B-A-K-E-R! B-R-E-W-B-A-K-E-R.com! It's better at Brubaker.com. Second down and nine, Wildcats at the ball, 49. Gay bending in the shotgun, trips to the top, one to the bottom. Low snap, going to drop back to pass. Gay didn't feel it. There's going to be a flag back here. You've got to feel that pressure coming around the right side. It's going to be Gay. a holding penalty on the back side against the Wildcats. And uh, you know, they show blitz pretty much from jump. It was a short snap back to Gabe, so he had to go down low to pull this one in. And with our explosiveness, well, we'll see if they take the penalty. I, I would be shocked if they did. I mean, I mean, I, I, I think they're gonna take the loss of yards and down, and exactly, of course, and down instead of taking and giving the down back. We'll see though. Yeah, yeah they're gonna they're gonna decline it. Big number thirty-two. Right about there it on is the with stack. this offense, though. I mean. 
Third and 15 is very manageable. That's Aiden Stewart on the sack for Central Clay. Third and 14, 4.56 to go in the first quarter. Wildcats up seven to nothing. Gabe Ben in the shotgun formation takes the snap. Under pressure, gonna step up. Another, another penalty flag. Chris Foster catches the ball up here. And this is gonna be another penalty flag against the Wildcats back here. And the good thing about that catch there is it's going to force them to take the penalty. Not that we want the penalty, but. That's two in a row now on Chaden Allen over here. But Chaden's been hit with two penalties in a row on Holden. They will accept this one because the play was good enough for a Wildcat first down, down inside the 40 yard line. But right now, Clay Central just pinning their ears back and bringing pressure. So have an opportunity for a screen or a draw play of some type. And this is gonna be a major distance penalty. Gonna mark them all the way back around the 24 yard line. So this is uh, third down and 26, as you heard Tommy say. They'll kind of drop everybody back a little bit here. They'll bring some pressure off the edges. Gabe takes the snap, gonna do a little twist up top. Gonna air this one out over here on the right side. Get up, jump ball, pass is intercepted back here at the 30. And actually that's just good as a punt. Now we don't have to punt the football. And Newt McKinney really couldn't ever find the football and they high pointed it and picked it off. Do you like our chances one-on-one -on -one when we have a chance to, to go for a jump ball? But that time, they did a good job of finding it. But again, I like it because we don't have to punt the football. And that, that's as good or better than a punt, and it gets them down there around the 31 and put our defense back on the field with 4.26 to go here. And then again, you and I talked about penalties, how devastating they can be. And that time, the Wildcats, they shot themselves in the foot. He killed that drive. Darren Harris in the shotgun formation. Heflin behind him. Ball their own 31. Ball in this near hash as a move right to left. Harris takes the snap. Going to hand it to Heflin. That's going to be holding on them. This one's going to come back. He's able to get about five yards up to the 35, but flags go down from multiple directions. Again, great recognition by our two middle linebackers. That's Savon Spradley again on the stop if this one does hold up, but it's a holding penalty right there at the line of scrimmage. Our Wildcats will take that back 10 yards and set up first and 20, 419 to go here in the first. Wildcats lead seven to nothing. And I think it was actually in the backfield, so it's gonna be around the 29. So should come on back to the 19, and that's where they will put it down. So that was about 11 or 12 yards there on the loss. First and 21. So first and 21. Volunteers backed up inside their own 20 at their 19. Harris gonna change the play. Gonna slide his H back over. That's Hamlet over here to the left. Takes the snap, gonna hand it to Heflin. Heflin trying to run down the line of scrimmage. He broke through and here he goes. 40, midfield cuts outside. 45, 40, 35 and gonna rerun out of bounds at the 30. That's their big play threat. That's what they want to do. They want to run the football. Did a great job right there countering it back to the right. Good job of blocking quickly into the secondary and we're able to track him down, but it's in our, inside our 30 yard line, actually right at the 30 yard line, 355 to go here in the first. Central Clay moving the football. They're gonna give it to Heflin again over here on the left side. This time they bottle him up. They're gonna ride Heflin all night long. We'll see how his stamina holds up here tonight because it's humid. It's their first game of the year. And he's gonna have to come out. And he has to be winded after that run. They turn around, hand it to him again, and he gets two yards. Second down and eight to 29. Harris. That's gonna be a false start on the right side over there. Mason Smith, excuse me, Adam Clark, gonna be guilty of a false start at the wide receiver post, so that's gonna back up. The ball, the balls, five yards. 3.22 to go here in the first quarter. Wildcats lead it seven to nothing. That is your SNS discount tire score. Big time throw and catch from Gabe Benton to Corey Milner to get this thing started. Second down and 15. 
no passes down the field so yeah, far. Think that's Everything's in, I, been in the flat. Not sure that's in the playbook. Harris going to pitch it over here to the new tailback. Wildcats coming up in here, trying to make the stop, overran the play. Not bad, though. It's Not bad at Lamont, all. It's going to be Boyd in there at running back. Running oh. to the football extremely well, Brett. Making this ball cut back inside. Savon Spradley in on the stop. Ty Williams. But a great job out there in the corner to not allow that one to hit the sideline. Yeah, third down on the sticks, but I think it's second. No, it, no, is, it's third. Third. it is third down and ten. Had the two-yard gain true, on the first true, play. True, absolutely. Third down and ten, Wildcat, uh, excuse me, balls to Wildcat 29. Harris trying to set everybody up. Heflin back in the football game. Harris going to drop back to pass. Looking, he's got time. Going to throw it over the middle. Dive and catch. Did he get it? Sure did. Sure did. Touchdown. Dive and catch. Keyson Lindsey. Beautiful pass right there on a post pattern. Able to get back and behind Ty Williams. Make a play on the inside. Well thrown football by the junior quarterback. And a good job by Lindsey going down on the turf and bringing that one in for the first score for Central Clay on the season. Seven to six. Wildcats lead with extra point coming up. You had to make a sliding catch. Nineteen yard pass reception there. Snap, the kick is on the way, and the kick is good. Seven apiece. That's your SNS discount tire score. With 2.09 to go in the first quarter. And a bad sequence of events for the Wildcats, as we've seen numerous times up here. You get off to a good start, feel like you got the momentum, and a poor offensive possession, and then a busted play on defense, and they swing field position, and then they're able to hit a pass on third down and 10 to score. The Wildcats will have to regroup and. Baited us inside there, Brett. Um, well, just too much time to throw to. Hey, just sat back there, had about six, seven seconds, allowed their receiver to get way downfield and make that long run across the end zone. And he was able to step up and deliver a good throw. Good job defensively by Central Clay, this previous possession. Really coming off the same edge and putting pressure on Gabe on just about well, every. They're about to get a dose of that. That's coming. They're going to bring pressure about every every play now because there's going to be some opportunities, though, Randy, I think. If you can block them up front long enough to get the ball downfield, but I think the Wildcats are going to have to do a little bit better job of establishing the run, too. So Central Clay will be kicking right to left. Ty Williams, Malcolm Simmons back deep, along with Caden Hyde and Chris Foster. Back deep, number seven, Williams, number 15, Simmons. Brian Hamlet will kick off. Also the H back for the Volunteers. It's going to be a little line drive kick. Chris Foster going to scoop it up over there around the 15, going to bring it all the way across the field, trying to find the seam, and he gets hit. And knocked down right around the 16, 17. So good special teams that time by the Vols. Good looking speed right there by Central Clay, not allowing that sideline to come into play. And offensively, we're going to have to start up inside our own 20 at the 18 yard line. So not good field position on the third possession of the game for the Wildcats. Seven all, 202 to go here in the first. Gay yeah, Benton will be the quarterback in the shotgun. Malcolm Simmons by. Beside him in the shotgun. Trips to the top, one run, receiver down here to the bottom is Nuke McKinney. Here comes Central Clay, look like they're gonna be bringing pressure off the edge of the penalty flag. Let's see what the call is. This is what happened last week. Starting, starting to mount the penalties up like we did last week, it wasn't a big deal because of the score, but we said it, you know, when you get in a close football game, these things are 
going to be deadly. Five-yard penalties are the worst. They mount up. First and 15 now inside. Down at the 12. A handoff over the right side, and he is blasted as soon as he takes the handoff. There's no running game to speak of at all, really, to this point of the season. And that's their bread and butter. Physical football beating you at the point of attack, and they do there. Second run of the game for Malcolm Simmons. Neither time has he had an opportunity to get anything going, positive momentum. Yeah, he has no chance. Second down and 17. Wildcats two week, two uh, drives in a row. They just backed up. My goodness. Unbelievable. And this is what you were concerned with last week. This is going to be all sides this time on Central Clay. It looked like maybe we moved again, and thank goodness we didn't. So we'll get five of that back. So to bring up second down and 12, Wildcats need to move the change right here. Need to start getting some field position back. Second down and 12. Ball to 15 yard line. Malcolm Simmons out of the backfield. Gabe Benton gonna set up a screen pass and Chris Foster dropped it. We've seen Chris early on in this season all the way back to the Jamboree, not look the ball into his hands a couple of times and Got to catch it first. Had all the momentum going that way. Had a little rocket play set up in the middle, a little middle screen to the flanker. Slot coming across. Ball looked like it was in his hands. Would have been a big gainer down this right sideline. Very good play call. Like to have that one back as we roll under 45 seconds to go here in the first quarter. Seven all. Shotgun formation, four wide, two to either side. Gabe Benton will take the snap here on third down. Going to drop back to pass. Going to step up, felt the pressure. Going to shoot a pass down the middle of the field, and this one's incomplete. Nowhere near the receiver. Gabe has some room to run the football if he steps up right there. They had kind of gotten past the uh, pressure. And he airmailed that one down the middle of the field. and Trying to give Corey Milliner an opportunity to make a play on the football. They aren't on the same page with where he's cutting. Um, Well, Coach Grider talking to Chris Foster right now about that play. and You know, you got to make plays when you have an opportunity. There's a snap. Malcolm's going to punt this one away. My gosh, My what a kick. Lord. This one's going to hit back to 35-yard line and be down right there. I mean, that was a moonshot from Malcolm Simmons. But Chris Foster will like to have that one back, and you know he'll come back and make another play somewhere in this game. I think that's what Coach Grider was telling him. We gotta, we gotta have him. We gotta be able to be, make, be able to make some plays when we can, but Malcolm Simmons just flipped the field position back in our favor. Wildcat defense back on the field, 34 seconds to go here in the first quarter. There's a handoff to Heflin, and Heflin's bottled up and dropped in the backfield for about a two-yard loss right there. Zai Owens in there along with a couple of other Wildcats. I believe that was number 90 there for the Wildcats, Randy. Ty Bell, you in on the stop, 5'9", 280 pounds, playing physical right there at the point of attack and needing to as Central Clay happy to let that clock roll out and go to the third, second quarter, I believe, without this snap. I may be off. No, I think it's gonna. I think it's gonna expire. Well, they may try to snap it. Now they're gonna tell them to just let it run out, and that will be a timeout on the field. A.M. Plumbing timeout on the field. S&S discount tire score. Wildcat seven, ball seven. You're listening to the Wildcat Football Network. Hi, this is Brian Bice with Bice Motors. With our all-star lineup of Dodge trucks, Jeep, SUVs, and Chrysler cars, we offer the area a team dedicated to making your next vehicle purchase a positive experience. Our sales team offers competitive pricing, and we back up all sales with the service department second to none. Bice Motors also offers the area's best selection of pre-owned vehicles. Visit Bice Motors at 2133 Cherokee Road in Alexander City.
Alex City Auto Collision on Dadeville Road in Alex City is the area's full body and paint shop, where they guarantee all their work for as long as you own the vehicle. Alex City Auto Collision works with all insurance companies and has the area's best value on all our paint and body work. And best of all, you save car rental is on site, so you're never without a ride. Trust the pros at Alex City Auto Collision, where our business is a wreck. Alex City Auto Collision and you save car rental on Dadeville Road in Alex City. So you want to build a home? Build the home you want with America's Home Place. Choose from over 150 floor plans, then personalize. Tile backsplash with granite countertops? Done. A spacious bathroom you've always dreamed of? You got it. Choose every detail, floors, cabinets, even the paint color. How about electric lime? Can't decide? Relax. At America's Home Place, we take care of it all. It's your home. Own it. America's Home Place. They say we live in an age of big data, where computers and fancy algorithms are supposed to know you best. But at Country Financial, we know helping you own your future requires, well, something much bigger. Contact your local Country Financial representative and start planning for your future with a personal touch. Let me tell you about a barbecue place that's not just a barbecue place anymore. It's downtown Alexander City. It's Fire Truck Barbecue, where they have a meat and three. And when I say that, those vegetables, I'm talking about fresh vegetables, not out of the can. Now, they do a lot of catering, too. Don't you go by and see my buddy Kenneth Ledbetter and the whole crew and his lovely wife, Julie, at Fire Truck Barbecue, downtown Alexander City. Lake Martin Tractor and Outdoor wants you to know we appreciate a great year from all of East Central Alabama and now our inventory of superior zero-turn mowers from Spartan and Mahindra tractors is on the move. Shop Lake Martin Tractor for outstanding deals, finance rates as low as 0% and low payments. Spartan mowers as low as $84 per month. Mahindra four-wheel drive tractors and loader packages as low as $399 per month, including cutter, box blade, and 20-foot trailers. Spring into 22 at Lake Martin Tractor and Outdoor, Highway 280 in Alexander City or online lakemartintractor.com. For over 80 years, the staff members of Radney and Langley Funeral Home have been friends in time of need, and we are dedicated to honoring, sharing, and preserving the amazing and inspirational stories of life. You've got a friend. Info. Get pre-approved in minutes online at gillsopalika.info for a pre-owned car, truck, or SUV from Gills Auto Sales, 1430 Gateway Drive in Opelika. Moving left to right now are the Vols. It's second down and 12 at their own 32. Randy, your synopsis there in the first quarter. Well, three possessions for our Wildcats offensively. We hit a big one for a 55-yard touchdown pass to Corey Milliner, but outside of that, they put pressure back there on Gabe made him uncomfortable, and our inability to run the football has exposed itself. So uh, we're going to have to find something there in the running game and hope that we can get some time back there for Gabe. Um, offensively, I think it's going to be a struggle for them. They hit us on a deep post pattern. I don't. We got baited inside. Normally we would have a safety back deep and not allow that. That would be a, a pick opportunity for us. But a great play call by Chase Horn and that staff over there. And tip your hat to them. But – I think defensively we're in a pretty good position here. Yeah, we just didn't get any pressure on him. He had plenty of time to sit back there and wait uh, on Cosby, or excuse me, Lindsey, to break across the end zone, and he was able to throw one that he was able to go down and snag. Second down and 12 for the Vols, new quarter, second quarter, brought to you by Security Pest Control. Shotgun snap, going to hand it to Heflin. Heflin bottled up over there on the left side. I wouldn't let him beat me tonight. I mean, I would make Darren Harris beat you with his arm. That time, five Wildcats all over Heflin and brings up third down and 10, able to muscle his way forward for about two yards. They, there's no secret here who they want to get the ball to. Got to be smart back here in the secondary. Have, have, as we mentioned, already hit us with one over the top for the touchdown. 
And their quarterback doesn't have a big arm, but he's got a good one. Yeah, it's accurate. And that's really all that matters. Five seconds on the play clock. Shotgun snap, little pitch over here to Heflin. Heflin trying to get some blocks and going to get hit behind and going to lose a yard. So Wildcats really just spying Terry Heflin at this point. Savon Spradley really playing well out there tonight. He's a senior linebacker. Has played almost every snap the last two seasons. Jai Hicks had a great one last week so far here in the first half. Savon Spradley's played extremely well. We'll send Ty Williams back deep. Opportunity for great field position here for the Wildcats as Ty will be sitting at the Wildcat 40 waiting this punt. Going to be punting from the 20. Jason Spivey will be doing the honors for Central Clay from his own 20. There's a snap. Going to get it off. It's Good a kick. high punt. It's going to have to be fair caught by Ty Williams, and that's interference. That's kick catch interference. That's 15 yards. And Damian Cosby will be guilty of that, and Coach Horn across the way just absolutely lost his mind because that was a mental error by their player. Runs up and didn't hit him hard, just ran into him. And Coach Horn is absolutely lighting his headgear up on the far side. Well, and he should be because his punter knocks one back deep. Had a lot of hang time on that kick, Brett. All we can do is fair catch it. So uh, you're going to have That's what would have been average field position turn into great field position right. here on the fourth possession of the football game, and we'll bring it out right around the midfield stripe to the Wildcat 49-yard line, 10-27 to go here in the first half. 7-7. Seven to seven. Got Simmons back there in the backfield with Benton to start this drive off. Got to figure out a way to, to get something going on the ground to maybe squelch a little bit of this pressure. And they've the got three safeties back deep, 14 yards off the ball, if that tells you anything. Absolutely. Here comes a blitz. Just and not worried about us running down, the football. We have another penalty on the far side. Yeah, it's a jump up top. Wow. Five yards. We are just getting obliterated by mistakes here in the early part of the season. Lack of concentration. Moves the ball back here to the 44. You're putting yourself behind the eight ball. First and 15 almost every drive. Making life tough on yourself. Gabe Benton in the shotgun. At some point, probably got to get your quarterback active running the football. Takes a snap, going to hand off up the middle, and there's a big hole, midfield 45. There's Malcolm Simmons all the way down to the ball, 40-yard line, going to be right at a first down. Cooper Good. Spears with a slap pancake back here at the 40-yard line. He hung out on top of him for a little while to let him know that he did it. Beautiful run there by Malcolm Simmons. That is Simmons. a first down. They do move the chains. That was shot out of a, a gun. I'm telling you, opening it up, allowing Gabe, who can run this football, will open it up a little Gonna bit. Hand it off Malcolm again, just hitting the backfield. Just, again, not able to even put his foot in the ground, make a play before contact. So brings up second down. We'll give him about one, one and a half. Watch what I tell you, though, Brett. They're going to make that them honor that quarterback short. Right. I wouldn't be surprised if it's not right here. And you keep showing that give to that speedster back there in the backfield, and Gabe pulls it and goes up this seam. It's eight or ten yards before he's touched. Second and eight at the 39-yard line. Hand off to Malcolm Simmons. Broke a tackle, still on his feet. Gets down to around the 36. Picked up a couple. Stumbled there. Juggled the handoff. Not a clean handoff there. So third down, and we'll call it six. Third down and six, 929 and counting here. The Wildcats are in four down territory, no doubt, right here. Gabe Benton in the shotgun formation. He'll be by himself. Trips to the top, two down here to the bottom. This is Simmons and Milner down here to the short side of the field. There's Snap, and this is going to be a direct draw play by Gabe, and I don't think he made it. He's, He's right there at it, He'll be Brett. short. Let's see, he stumbled there. I still think he's right there on top of it. He didn't get it. They're going to bring the Wildcat package in, the heavy package. They're going to put Zai Owens and Zai Hicks, Jai Hicks, excuse me, Caden Hyde and Malcolm Simmons back there fourth in a yard. So Gabe had that quarterback draw and kind of stumbled. Confusion on the yeah. offensive front, where to line up. Fourth down and one, six seconds to go. Snap to Malcolm Simmons. Simmons 
Has a chance to break through. He does. 10, 5, touchdown, Malcolm Simmons. When you bunch them all up like that, that has a possibility of happening. And Malcolm Simmons, once he hit the crease, there was nobody back there to tackle him, and he took it to the house. Just great, strong running by the junior. We call him Mr. Versatility. He can play anywhere on the field, and he can punt it, he can kick it, he can do anything. Well, he's right here, he's physical. Fights through a tackle right there in the middle, comes out on the opposite end. Remind me a lot of Quez Alves back yeah, in the it, day. Yeah, it looked like, and Malcolm coming off the field, Randy, pointing to himself saying, give me the football tonight. There's the extra point on the way by Noah Alsabrook. The kick is up and it's good. It's 14 to seven. But Malcolm Simmons looked over at the sideline, patted himself on the chest like five or six times and said, give me the football tonight. Let me take this football game over. 32 yard scamper there by Malcolm Simmons to put the Wildcats back up 14 to seven. But I thought you said it perfect, Brett. You know, Coach Horn and that wishbone attack, when we were really bunched in, and they had to bunch all 11 players in. The fun part was when you actually got through it. Absolutely. And you had a speedster that got through it, and Alvey's was one that I always remembered that, buddy, if he got through it, you could just go ahead and write six up on the and board. You know, Coach Horn loved Quez Alvey's. I you know, know he, he was just one of his favorite We players. all did. Of course, because he was lightning in a bottle. Very similar. I thought you made a great comparison. Malcolm Simmons, very similar build, uh, very similar athletic ability to Quez Alvey's. And, you know, he, he, he kind of broke one tackle there at the line of scrimmage, and once he got over it, it was all the way to the house. I got to come out and play good defense here. Remember, we do get the football again to start the second half as we deferred. That's right. So defensively, if we can find a way to get our offense back on the field and um, hold that lead going into the second half, I like our chance of playing well defensively. Well, that was up a, one big play. That was a lot of beast back here in the backfield on that heavy package. First time we've seen it this year. That's right. Good snap. That's not something to let get by. Also, Brooke, high end over end kick. Heflin's going to have another shot at it down there around the seven. Man, Caden High Bring just it right ran down in. He right. just absolutely Three. tattoos Heflin. Well, Hyde ran through two that time. He This up back got knocked directly on his back, and then Hyde bounces off of him and puts another lick on five. So he took out two on that kickoff. He's to, a he's a he's a he's a scud missile man. He he flies down the field, but you you said it, man. Bounced off the first guy, he knocked down and came back and made the play. All right, so Central Clay at their own 25 now. They've had one big play from scrimmage. Heflin well, was able to break through. We we'll won't have to burn a timeout because we didn't have enough men on the field. 8-10 to go. We'll take an AM plumbing timeout. SNS discount tire score. Wildcats up 14 to 7. You're listening to the Wildcat Football Network. Truckloads of fresh inventory are rolling in to Glenn Smith Chevrolet in Opelika. Right now, get 2022 Chevrolet Traverse up to $4,000 off or choose payments as low as $529 a month. Chevy Silverados up to $6,500 off. We have hundreds of new and used cars, trucks, and SUVs on the lot or on the way. Get ready to smile. Whether it's Lake Martin, Lay Lake, or Logan Martin, boaters from all over the state of Alabama come to Alex City Marine, just off Highway 280 in Alexander City, Alabama, because it's worth the drive. With the best deals on unbeatable Suzuki outboards, Manitou and Landau Tritunes, and a great pre-owned inventory while they last, Alex City Marine is the pros the locals know. And no matter where you're from, when you're here, you're local to us. Alex City Marine, just off Highway 280 in Alexander City, Alabama. AlexCityMarine.com. Ben Clearing and Grading is Cody and LD Ben, and they get your job in sight. Moving dirt is a clean job to them. Clearing a lot for your home or business is what they do, and they do it right. Call LD or Cody today at 256 397 2531 or 397 2532 for a quote today. I promise you, they'll do the job right. That's Benton Clearing and Grading. Are you looking to buy a home, but you're having second thoughts because you think it'll be a complicated process? Cross Country Mortgage, your local lender, will make everything smooth, easy, and stress-free for you. When you work with CCM, there are only six simple steps in the home buying process. Pre-approval, application, 
underwriting, conditional approval, final underwriting, and closing. That's all there is to it. Get started today with their online pre-approval application. Visit crosscountrymortgage.com slash auburn al 4307 General's Cafe Highway 22 in New South Alabama is ready for you to come see them today. Meet and three on Sundays only. If you never had their meet and three, you owe it to your whole family to take them up there. And also specials each and every day. Let's talk catering, because that's something they do a lot of for all different size events. 234-2121, General's Cafe, 256-234-2121. We are a debt relief agency. We help people file Chapter 7 and Chapter 13 under the bankruptcy code. This is Marcia Mason, your local Lake Martin bankruptcy and Social Security disability attorney. Mason Law Firm is located at 217 Madison Street in Alexander City. Call 256-329-1313 to schedule your appointment today. All initial consultations are free and strictly confidential. No representation is made that the quality of legal services to be provided is greater than that of other attorneys. Russell DeWitt Center and Building Supply Stores have the tools and materials to get the job done right, whether you're a professional contractor or just a weekend do-it-yourselfer. With everyday customer conveniences like a drive through lumber yard, price match promise, and our best rewards program, each of our nine locations offer top brands and building materials like lumber, hardware, tools, paint, lawn and garden, and much more. Visit today and see what Russell DeWitt Center and Building Supply can help you build tomorrow. The heat is on, and nowhere gives you more than KiaOfAuburn.com. First, we give you more for your trade-in. Just scan the code to find out how much. Next, the all-new Kia Sportage is here, and you'll be ready for anything. Then, at KiaOfAuburn.com, you can custom order your new Kia just the way you want. Want more? Check out our selection of certified pre-owned Kias with 165-point inspection, complete protection plans, and so much more. Selection, price, trade-in value. You always get it all at Kia of Auburn. Kia of Auburn, where you're always number one. Wildcats regain the lead 14 to 7 on a Malcolm Simmons 32 yard run on a fourth and one. Little mist in the air, right? Right now, I don't know that there's much coming in, but I don't see a lot. It looks pretty, pretty good from our standpoint. First down and 10, shotgun snap. Going to drop back. He's under some pressure. Going to step up sidearm right here. Have a chance. Pass is called up here at midfield. Yeah, he's a great catch. Another flag pattern right Adam there. Clark. A little sidearm pass. This he ball. floated that one, though. And we had a chance, and that was not the best effort, but he gave Clark a chance to catch it. He went up between two guys and brought it down. Two defenders back there on top of him. Would like to see Ty with a chance there. Somewhat gimpy. We're not getting pressure on him. He's got plenty of time to throw the football. Going to sidearm one over here. Pass is complete to Keyson Lindsey. He was the one that caught the touchdown pass. Great job running to the football by middle linebacker Jai Hicks. Ty wraps him up. Receiver's a big, strong running back looking kid. Fights away from Ty, but Jai hustling to the football gets him down. Five yard game. We'll call it second and four actually on the board. 7.28 to go here in the second quarter. Wildcats lead 14 to 7. Ball at the Wildcat 44. Trips to the top, one down here to the bottom. Heflin possibly going to get the handoff here. And that, we didn't even get in the neutral zone, and they call. Oh, they're going to call the center for moving yeah, the football. Yeah, center moving the football. And That'll cost him five. That's another mental mistake there for the Vols. I knew we moved a little bit, but we didn't get in the neutral zone, but the umpire saw the ball move, and once you grab the ball as a center, you can't shift it. And he may have been just trying to get it right in his hands, but that's a procedure call. So it'll be second down and nine, we'll call it. Two to the top, one down here to the bottom. Harris takes the snap. He'll go, Malcolm. Going to drop back to pass. Under pressure this time. Wildcats able to get him. Caden Hyde just ran into him. He didn't realize the quarterback was standing there. He was coming around the backside. And then all of a sudden, Harris just kind of runs into Hyde. And then Hyde tries to rip the ball out. Kyle Williams back there. He's really playing well here tonight. Big defensive tackle along with Ty Bellew. And Bellew's taking a lot of Boy, snaps in I'm the middle of that you. defensive line. He looks good too, man. Making some plays there on the defensive front. Third down and 13. 
opportunity here in the secondary to make a play on the football. Harris going to send a man in motion left to right. Harris takes the snap. He is going to throw it. Wildcats brings the pressure. Going to be a screen pass. They set it up over here. Out to practice early, man, and he's going to have a first down. Knew they were going to call that screen right there. Baited the Wildcats, let them come in there, dumped it off to Heflin. Great play call. Yep. Got all momentum coming this way. Well, they knew we were going to bring some pressure. There's a timeout on the field. We'll just keep it right here with 6.07 to go in the first half. Wildcats up 14 to seven, but again, like you said, a good play call that time by the Vols. Heflin was able to kind of slide out over there. It's really shocked the Wildcats didn't have somebody spying him. You know, that he's he is their guy on this on this team that you are scared can take it from anywhere on the field. I, I'd have somebody in his hip pocket Almost every snap. Wherever he went, I'd have that guy go with him. Great crowd here tonight, Brett. It's a beautiful venue here in Clay County, and uh, it's humid, my friend. If if oh, cramps don't come into play here in the second half, I'd well, be surprised. You know, the thing about conditioning, you know, you look at Heflin for them, and he has had a lot of touches, and he's been active pretty much the entire first half. This is their first football game of the season. So it is uh, – yeah, we'll see. I mean, right now, so far for neither team, uh, haven't seen the cramps jump in there, but we'll see if it plays a part. They get down to the 38, so it'll be first down and 10. Wildcat 38. I'd love to have a turnover right here. I'd love for the Wildcats to build, and here comes the wishbone. Watch a tight end coming out of the backfield. Here's a snap on the left side, and Wildcat's going to dive in there. He's going to dive forward off that left side, pick up about I don't know where he went down. Wow, only two yards. Savon Spradley behind the line of scrimmage in on the stop. Second and eight. Good read by the middle linebackers, and they'll have to play well in this formation. Yeah, it looks like a little early start over there, handoff on the left side. A couple to three more yards on there, so it'll be third down. Just keep on pounding the football. That's what they want to do. That's their bread and butter. Third down and three. That's where you got to be real calm back there at safety and don't let those tight ends leak. Hand off left side right there. and Not going to get it. I don't think you, hey, it's going to be close. Nah. On the left side. It's going to be right at it. Yep, first down. Wow. This is what they want to do, just keep on. Pounding and pounding and pounding right here. First down, down to the 27. Stay in that wishbone. Two tight end set, gonna hand off right side this time and gonna fight through inside the 20 down to around the 19. There's Terry Heflin, the Wildcats right now just getting it run down their throat. Good old wishbone from Danny Horn. Play action, gonna roll out, throw it up. Pass should be intercepted. Hit right in his chest and he dropped it. Wildcats had a golden opportunity to pick the pass off and Ty just missed it. Great read by Ty, just a flag pattern out of the backfield. Like I said, they're gonna try to dink you in and then spill that tight end out of the backfield into the corner of the end zone and Ty reads it perfect. Over there to make the interception, has it go through his hands. Third down and four. Yeah, you just got to make those plays, man. Give them new life, third down and four. He threw it right to him. Floated it up, third down and four. They're in four down territory if they need to be. Hand off left side. Jai hits. Jai grabbed him from behind, going to rip him down. You can bank on it. They're going to go for it here. Fourth down. I don't think they're going to send a field goal unit out with 4.17 to go. Coach Horn knows he's got to get in the end zone tonight. Send Heflin back in the ball game, the big running back on fourth down and four. Clock yep. will roll under four minutes to go here in the first half with the Wildcats leading 14 to seven on the snap. Big play. Snap, hand off Heflin right side, gonna try to turn the corner, he ain't gonna get there. He is hit from behind. Ja Hicks has Heflin's number on that 
play yeah, and Jai drops Hicks it for nothing. And Inslee Goggins with a big stick over here on the right side. Both of those young men coming up and laying the lumber. Heflin a little upset with himself, but I don't know what more he could have well, done there. Well, nothing Heflin could have done there. You know, they strung it out, thought the Wildcat defensive line did a good job of making him run lateral. He was trying to find a place to kind of cut up inside. And as you said, Inslee Goggins running downhill laid the wood along with Inslee, uh, along with Jai Hicks. 3.55 to go here. Wildcats hold him right there. That's a big stop. Shotgun snap. We're going to try to run it over here on the left side. Malik, good run across the 25 up to around the 26. 27-yard line. Good run there by Malik on first down. Good blocking on the left side of the front. Big senior running back Malik Maddox keeping those legs churning. Quick feet back there in the backfield. Going to pick up what there on first down, Brett? About six, seven yards? Yeah, he got about seven, I think. What? I didn't see it. What was the flag? What was the call? I think they called a holding right there in the middle of the line. My goodness, man. Wow. Going to back it up and see where they put it. 17. If it's a holding penalty there, Brett, the spot of the foul would be the 27, so it can't be a holding penalty. It's a five-yard procedure penalty. That's what it ended up being. First down and 15. So it was a dead ball, just didn't hear the whistle. Going to hand off Malik over here right side and gets back up to the 20. So he picked up five that they lost. So second down and 10 coming up. 334, got to be very careful with the football down here. You got to keep in mind that you get the football to start the second half. So really a no rush here. No. Sedarian Morgan in the football game at the split. Well... Wildcats here with second down. They'll call it a, a little bit outside of 10. Shotgun snap, going to throw it out here. He's got his receiver, Corey Milner, broke a tackle. 25, 30, Man, he's outside, good. 40, he's 45, so good. midfield, 40, 35, 30, he is so 25, good. 20, 15, 10. Out of bounds there. First down, Wildcats. First and goal, I believe, coming up for the Wildcats. Best football player on the field. Just, he is outstanding. And if you can't find a way to get the football in his hands, 12, 14 times a game is your own fault. Right here, just a little pop pass, short side of the field. Corey Milliner, 6'3", 175, fights off of the first tackle and almost takes it to the house. Ball inside the 20 all the way down to the 13-yard line. 2.59 to go here in the first half. Wildcats lead 14 to 7. Yeah, he was down before he got inside the 10. So the Wildcats can pick up a first down inside the 10. Winded, got to look for Malcolm here, Brett. Yeah, Malcolm's in the backfield beside Gabe. First and 10 from the Vol 13. Wildcats lead it 14 to seven. Gonna hand it to Malcolm, Good slides run. through. Gonna spin down inside the 10, down to around the seven. Goes Boy. Malcolm Simmons. He's one step away, isn't he? Always. One step away, they're holding on for dear life right down there at the bottom, tip your hat to Central Clay there, but we do pick up positive yards, about two or three there on first down. Actually give it four. It's going to be second and six. Clock rolls under 2.30 to go here in the first half. 2.27 and counting. Second down and goal. Oh, excuse me, second and seven. Ball on the nine-yard line. Going to line up in a pistol formation. Look, Malcolm behind Gabe. Turn around and hand it to Malcolm. Trying to cut inside. They bottle him up at the 10. Not going to get anywhere. Going to lose some yards there. So, Wildcats. Malcolm Simmons finding the real estate tough down here. Still keeping them honest inside this right. red zone. Right. Keep giving the ball to the athletes. You and better wrap up or he's going to score. They got their hands on their hips over on the defensive side. Third down and seven. And I believe Coach Horn's going to spend a timeout on defense here with 140 to go here in the first half. We'll keep it here. Wildcats lead it 14 to seven. And a big play by Corey Milner sets up this, sets up this scoring opportunity for the Wildcats inside the 10 yard line. So Corey Milner there just catching that little pass and breaking one tackle over here around the 15 yard line. And man, he sidestepped and then turned the guy completely around up here around the 25 or 30 yard line. 
And then once he got down the sideline, thought he was going to be able to make it. But they had a guy that had an angle coming across the far side of the field that was able to grab him around the 13-yard line. It hasn't been a productive half, half completion-wise by our Wildcats throwing the football, but the two completions that we do have, Brett, 121 yards to Corey Milliner on two catches here. One of those is a touchdown. Malcolm Simmons does have 56 yards rushing here in the early going, seven yard per carry. He's got another one of those touchdowns. A lot you can do right here, Brett. Third down and seven, a minute 40 to go here in the first half. Wildcats lead 14 to seven inside the 10 yard they line. They got to get the three. They got to have the three for a first. Shotgun snap coming up. Going to split Malcolm out of the backfield. Gabe's under pressure, gets away. He's got plenty of room to run. Going to take it. Five, go to the corner. He's in. Touchdown, Wildcats. Gabe Benton, he sidestepped one defender, looked to his right, nothing but green grass, and he was able to beat the defender to the pylon for the Wildcat touchdown. Wildcats up 20 to 7. And I've said a number of times, and this time it's not a designed run, but I do feel like this year when we need to run the football, the quarterback, Gabe, can do it, Brett. And uh, great job in recognition by Gabe Benton there going around the right side and picking up the rushing touchdown to extend this lead out to 20 to seven. No Alsabrook left-footed kicker. Snap the place, the kick is on the way, it's good, but play was blown dead. We'll see what happens here. Will they all size or was it procedure against us? We'll see what the call is. It'll be procedure against the Wildcats. We'll have to back it up five yards and try it again. So little five yard penalties. Good snap, good kick right there, though. Yeah, it was, that one was perfect. Ty Williams is your holder. Cade Sin. Cade Sin is your snapping, snapper. And Noah Alsabrook, who has really gotten a much stronger leg. And he's got a leg. Has worked extremely hard. No problem knocking it through, just get a good snap. Sin will snap it back. This is going to be a little fake. Yeah, it wasn't designed. Well, it wasn't designed. Fake. It was a high snap. Yeah, it was a high snap. And, 20 to seven, you know, these these penalties, they kill you, man. Five yard penalties can be some of the most devastating penalties, but nevertheless, Wildcats up 20 to seven here. 133 to go here in the first half. Wildcats will get the ball. Here's the eerie thing. This was the score last year. We took a 20 to 14 lead to half last year. You got to make sure not to give up a big play offensively. Central Clay knowing they're kicking that no, football off. I just off find where step. Heflin is. I'm I agree, serious. I, I, whatever Heflin does, I'd be in his hip pocket for the rest of the night. Somebody else would have to step up for Central Clay tonight. We haven't been shy kicking it to him. He's received every single kickoff tonight. So we're putting the ball in his hands, giving him an opportunity to return. He'll line up down there around the 10 yard line again. 133 to go here in the first half. Wildcats up 20 to seven. That's your SNS discount tire score. Noah Alsabrook, been a busy young man here tonight, kicking the football off. Your kickoff's brought to you by Tallapoosa Ford. And this will be a little pooch kick. Going to hit, going to be fielded on the on the bounce right there, and the Wildcats going to grab him, put him down around the 35. Not a bad idea there. J.T. Trammell, the junior, and a little hesitation to grab the football, but finally made a decision to grab it, and Wildcats were beating down on it. So 127 to go here in the first half. The balls have two timeouts. The Wildcats have two timeouts. They'll have it at their own 36. So Wildcats, Be shocked they come out throwing the football here. Bro. Yeah, I think Heflin, we'll probably see Heflin here. Heflin with one long run from scrimmage here in the first half. Take the snap, going to hand off to Heflin there, and he sneaks through. Man, I'm telling you, gets up to around the 37, 38. It's uh, always a dangerous player, but I like what you see with Malcolm. If he can get past that initial line, and he get those legs going. He's a tough, tough tackle there. Good tackle by Caden Hyde right there. Second down and seven. 
Trips to the bottom, one to the top here. One minute to go. They will try to throw the football. Got Gonna load up and throw it deep down the field. This pass. Did he catch that? My, what a catch. And just Well, but we had the ball again. The ball was tipped up in the air. Yeah, go route down this left sideline, and they're making plays on the football in the air, and tip your hat to their quarterback. Throwing a very catchable football. Wow. Got good air under it, and uh, we'd we like have to have missed. both of those back. We have missed two golden opportunities at interceptions. I mean, couldn't have had them gift wrapped any better. Shotgun snap, gonna drop back to pass, gonna step up and throw it into the end zone. This one's gotta be picked. Malcolm Simmons comes up with it and snatches it out of the air. Picked off with 39 seconds to go here. And I'm not sure he made it in the end zone, did he? Is he on the one yard line? Wow. One yard line, and they're not gonna say he went into the end zone. There's no way he went down at the one right there. I like to make things interesting, don't they? 39 seconds to go here in the first half. And the Wildcats gonna have to get a couple of clean snaps off here inside the one yard line. Good job by Malcolm Simmons though, getting up. This time, he went to the well a little bit too much. And they were able to go up and Snag that one out, and I think we're going to burn a timeout with 39 seconds. Central Clay has two. You got to get two good snaps off here, and then actually three. You got to push the pile forward. Can't can't bobble the snap. And you know we we never go under center, Randy. That's the thing right here. So this is a this is one of those things that we struggled with last year when we had to go under center last year. We fumbled several snaps. You got to get three clean snaps here and get to the locker room. That's really all you're trying to do. See what formation we come out in. See a couple of the receivers coming to the sideline, looking for Malcolm. You also can, you don't really want to take a chance, but you also can, you also can hit a big hitter here. Certain football that they're looking yeah, for. They're looking the for line. football over there for short yardage, I guess. Coach Crager is not happy at all. Coach, he's he very unhappy with something with the footballs there. 39 seconds to go here. Wildcats need to get some clean snaps. The balls with two timeouts. They're inside their own one-yard line. Gabe, clean snap, just going to push it forward. And good momentum gets it out to around the five. And I'm not sure Danny will call a timeout. He's just going to let it roll, I believe. I'd probably call it and at least make them snap it one more time. Hey, how about a play action in a deep ball? <clears throat> I think the Wildcats going to be content to let it run out up 20 to 7. Getting the ball back to start the second half, exactly. You just don't want to make a mistake Dude. down here. Not up two scores. No. Wildcats will take a two score lead to halftime. That's your SNS discount tire score, Wildcats 20. Ball seven. That's an, uh, excuse me, uh, AM plumbing timeout on the field. Your Harold Orthodontics halftime show coming up next. You're listening to the Wildcat Football Network. Lake Martin has a new car buying experience. It's the TR Group of Alex City on Cherokee Road. The TR Group has up to 100 late model vehicles to choose from and will not be beat on price, selection, or financing. With the TR Group, your selection and quality is easy and your good credit is rewarded. But we offer guaranteed financing on our inventory because your future is more important than your past. The TR Group, Lake Martin's new standard in auto sales. Located at 814 Cherokee Road, Alex City, USA. Adams Health and Rehab in Alexander City helps you get back to life faster. When you need the best rehabilitative care following surgery, a stroke, or heart attack, Adams Health and Rehab offers a comfortable, home-like atmosphere, private suites with phone and flat screen, even a secure Alzheimer's dementia unit, and highly skilled 24-hour nursing care. Adams Health and Rehab is here for you by helping you get back to life. Adams Health and Rehab, 256-329-0847. You want the best opportunity to be successful in life. You deserve that opportunity. Well, you just happens to be in our motto, central to you, central to your success. Your future is right now. 
Don't wait. Make your dreams a reality by enrolling at Central Alabama Community College. Register today at CACC.edu. At CNT Electric, our clients are our priority. For the safety and security of your family and home, our technicians are professionally trained, drug tested, background checked, and wear uniforms with name tags. We're proud to have served the Elk City, Dayful, and Lake Martin areas for the past 10 years. Give us a call at 256-234-0007 for all your electrical service and repair needs. Or visit us on the web at www.cntelectricllc.com and spell out the word AND. Grace's Flowers in Alexander City on Hillaby Street has been making people happy for decades. Susie Kelly and her friendly staff continue that same great tradition. Grace's Flowers is a full-service florist for all occasions, funerals, weddings, and other special events. In addition to flowers, Grace's has a great gift selection as well. To send a smile or encouragement, call 234-4238 and Grace's Flowers will deliver. Grace's Flowers on Hillaby Street in Alexander City. Oliver and Treadwell is a full service law firm. Many television lawyers just represent persons that have been injured in car wrecks. At Oliver and Treadwell, we provide litigation and defense for persons that have been sued. We also represent persons that have been involved in complex business transactions as well as real property disputes and real estate closings. We're proud to be a sponsor of Benjamin Russell football and proud to be a part of Tallapoosa County. Thank you. Amanda Scroggins with Remax Around the Lake will cover every inch of Lake Martin's 880 miles of shoreline to find your family's dream home. Amanda's experience is top notch and she is consistently a top 10 Remax agent in the state of Alabama. Her love for her clients is sincere and from the heart. Call her today at 256-749-6634 or visit her website amandascroggins.com today. When you need an automotive hero, you got to call S&S Discount Tire Pros. With locations in Alexander City and Davil, we are here to serve you today. From quick services like oil changes and tire rotations to in-depth automotive repair such as suspensions, brakes, and tune-ups, S&S can take care of all your tire needs. You just have to focus on what's important and love the drive. Call S&S Discount Tire Pros today. We are automotive heroes, and we are here to serve you. This is Joseph Dean with Alabama Funeral Homes. As many of you are aware, we had a fire that significantly damaged our facilities. We were in the process of getting those rebuilt. We apologize for any inconvenience this may have caused the families that we serve. I want you to know that we are capable of handling all of your needs at Frederick Dean Funeral Home of Opelika, which will be servicing Alabama Funeral Homes families. We can be reached at our same number, 256-896-4502, or by email at joseph at Alabama Funeral Homes homes.com so you finally got the boat atv or side by side of your dreams huh but make it yours with marine grade audio that'll provide crisp high quality sound that's loud enough to be heard whether you're cruising on the lake or hitting a mud hole come see steve at the car stereo shop in auburn so you'll be ready to crank up the volume whoa but wait you don't have to pull out of the water and trailer it to auburn the car stereo shop can handle all of your work at any one of the lake martin marinas i'm attorney dane sharp here at my office we want to be different than the big city billboard lawyers we want to give your case the personal attention that it deserves we handle auto accidents, tractor trailer accidents, and other cases where our clients have been injured and need personal legal attention. To me and my staff, you will not just be another number on the case file, and we will return your phone calls. So if you've been injured, give me a call today or visit us on our website. Heritage South Credit Union in Alexander City is your community credit union, and they have been for over 80 years. Heritage South Credit Union proudly serves Tallapoosa, Coosa, Lee, Chambers, Randolph, and Chilton Counties. From checking to business accounts, to share savings, to club accounts, to their kids club and investments, visit them online at myhscu.com. Heritage South Credit Union, your community credit union for 80 years, federally insured by NCUA. 
Hi, I'm Scott Blake. I'm Angie Richardson, and we are the loan team here at Movement Mortgage. Whether you're a first-time home buyer or you've gone through the process before, our mission is to help you move forward with the purchase of your future plans. Call me at 256-397-2771. Or call me at 256-794-1003. Scott Blake, NMLS number 527945. Angie Richardson, NMLS number 216556. Movement Mortgage supports equal housing opportunity, NMLS number 39179. For licensing information, please visit NMLS Consumer Access. At Russell Medical, we're proud of our exceptional nurses, like Nurse Brandy Worthy. Brandy represents the selfless, compassionate clinical leader patients expect and co-workers admire. Brandy was recently honored with the Nightingale Award for Nursing Excellence for her high standards, sound judgment, and caring manner. Her passion for her profession inspires us all. Being a nurse is not just what you do, it's who you are. I'm proud to be a part of the nursing team at Russell Medical. We are the link between all hospital services, providing you with exceptional, personalized care. Skag, the toughest name in lawnmowers. Unmatched quality and performance for over three decades. The clear choice, the best mower money can buy for work or at home. Top lawn care professionals and discerning homeowners know that Skag means productivity and reliability. Every Skag mower is proudly built right here in the USA. Don't settle for anything less than simply the best. Skag. Satterfield Outdoor Living on Highway 280 in Alex City. Get ready to walk on the wild side at SureShot Outdoors. Hunting season is finally here, and it's time to stock up on everything you need this year. With a great selection of hunting rifles and shotguns, SureShot Outdoors is ready to get you prepared for the season. We offer everything from feeders to climbing stands and sportsman condos. Plus, we have a wide variety of browning chairs and a full line of apparel to get you ready for the hunt. Visit us on Highway 280 in Alexander City today. Wildcat Football Network closing out the Harold Orthodontics halftime show. Wildcats lead it 20 to seven. Wildcats back on the field. Play Central back out on the field. Kind of got a little bit of coolness to the air now. We uh, need it. Yeah, here in the second. very humid. Yeah, and it's still humid. Don't, don't get me wrong, but um, so far, both teams have not had any issues with any cramps, but uh, you start to see that show up here in the third and fourth quarters of a football game, especially guys that have been on the field a lot. Uh, we know Terry Heflin for Central Clay has been toting the mail for them majority of the first half. Um, first football game of the year for Central Clay. They haven't had any live action against another opponent until tonight. Uh, so we'll see how that kind of plays into it. Wildcats will have the football to start the second half. Randy, your, your breakdown of what the Wildcats need to do here in the second half to get out of here with a win. Well, we'll get the football to start the second half, and I think that's a big key is um, let's wait and see if Coach Horn doesn't use some trickery to start this second half. It's not beyond him to come out and try the onside kick, but let's just say we get the football. Uh, like to see us run it, Brett. Like to see oh, yeah. us have the ability to run the football. I'm going to keep saying it because I think it's something sitting out there for us that – uh, could help this team overall is if we can show run with a quarterback six, eight times a game, I think it open up a lot. And um, they're deep. They're not wanting to allow us to hit anything over the top and, and deep. And uh, we're struggling getting any big chunk yards down the field. The one long 32-yard run, they had everything bunched up because right. we went back in that single back backfield and snapped the ball directly to Malcolm Simmons. And uh, he just squirted out the back end and took it to the house. So, how about you? You know, I, I feel like physically we played really well there in the first half. You know, I'll, I'll go back to when when momentum kind of swung for Central Clay. We we jumped out, had a big play, went up seven to nothing. Um, credit them for coming right back and answering. And, you know, they kind of seized momentum from us because we had another drive that was riddled with penalties. Um, ended up the second time we, cut, we had the football after the touchdown. Uh, from Central Clay, we went backwards on a couple of plays. But Malcolm was able to punt the football out of there, a boomer, and then swung field position, Randy. And, you know, keeping that momentum on your side when the game was tied, you could kind of feel it. I thought that was a key in the game. So, um, you know, one of those things that we were able to, when they, you know, we were able to do is kind of seize that back and then take advantage of it and put two more scores on the board. We got to clean the penalties up, though. You know, again, that kind of got us in the position that we were in there for a couple of possessions. 
and, and kind of gave the momentum back to Clay. Uh, we had some self-inflicted penalties. We've got to clean that stuff up as we move forward. A lot of opportunities for interceptions there in the first half. Only picked the one off. I think that will be a key in the second half. If we're able to put another score on the board, it's going to force them to throw the football. And uh, if they're forced to throw it, we got the guys back there that can make plays on it. Yeah. And that's like an offensive play for us. Um, it didn't go our way as Malcolm intercepted it right at the one-yard line, fell into the end zone, and they down it right there at the one. So we didn't have a chance there with 40 seconds left in the first half to do anything with it. But, uh, Brett, I do think that's a, a strength of this football team. And we've been in position. We haven't intercepted them, but – We've been there, and uh, more times than not, Ty's going to pick those off, um, and I think I'd like to see Chris Foster with an opportunity well, here in the second half. You just said it. I was about to say Chris Foster would love to have that one back. He he really loves to get going. He's got to remember he's got to take the football with him, but he's so anxious to get out in front of everybody. I think Chris Foster's got a big play in his back pocket here in the second half. The Wildcats, as you said, will get the football to start, but I'm with you. Coach Horn, looking at that scoreboard, knows it's 20 to seven. Uh, they're not really built to get down a lot. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if they didn't try something here, but you run the risk of giving up great field position if you do. So we'll see what Coach Horn is able to do coming out here. It'll be the Lake Martin Tractor and Outdoors second half kickoff, the region's authorized Mahindra Tractor and Spartan Mower dealer. Good crowd here at Volunteer Stadium. And people standing all the way around the fence here on the right. The cars were still coming in to the stadium at the end of the first quarter. I think we finally got everybody in here and settled. What high school football's about, Brett, is rival games like this we played eight times against Central Clay. We won four. They've won four. Uh, the score discrepancy in that eight games is five points, 193 that we've scored to 188 for Central Clay. What more can you ask for? And you get a big gate. Helps your entire athletic right. department when you have a gate like this. So well, you got uh, some hands people up here, Randy, on this front line. You got Murphy. You got Darren Morgan. You got David Lawson. I can't really see on the far side who's over there. But I think they're looking at possibly a – Onside tight kick here. It's Kendrick Bird, number 13. It's one of our defen defensive backs. I think that's probably Christopher Wyckoff. Not positive, but looks like where you would have Wyckoff. <coughs> and here comes Hamlet. And we'll see if he's able to see what he does here. He's going to squib it down the mm -hmm. field. Line drive kick, and I think that's Chris Foster right there at the 20. Trying to find a seam, trying to find a place. Not going to do it, get up to the 30. You know, Chris tries to get lost back there behind some of those bigger guys and tries to squirt through, but caught a good one there on the run. Good field position for the Wildcats starting at their own 30. Decent field position um, as the ball's actually inside the 30 at the 29-yard line. See if we can hit a big play here, Brett. Um, ability to throw the football down the field. We haven't had to do much of that here in the first half. Only two completions for 121 yards. Both of those completions go into the senior, Corey Milliner. Shotgun formation. Trips to the top, one down here to the bottom. Nuke McKinney. One-on-one -on -one coverage. Safety helps really split over to the other side of the field. Going to send McKinney in motion, right to left. Going to be a speed, speed sweep over here. Found a little seam, cut it up inside, gets it to the 35. And a penalty flag, and that's probably going to be a hold. Wow. We've run the speed sweep, I think, three times this year, Randy, and had I think we've had a hold on, on all three of them. Boy, the, the deep official here threw it 30 yards behind the play. Boy, his eyesight's a lot better than mine if it works from way back there. Well, he threw it past for the umpire. The umpire – Usually, the guy's going to make that call, and the back judge comes up and makes the call on a hold. I'm going to work on the speed sweep. Oh, that's three three times, three penalties. I'd, I'd scratch that one for a little while. Once again, Wildcats shooting themselves in the foot. First down and 20. Making it extra tough on yourself to move the football. 
Shotgun formation, Malik Maddox beside Gabe Benton. Takes a snap. Gabe's going to look downfield. Good job. Got time to throw. He's under pressure. He's going to get sacked back here. And ball's oh. loose. They're going to say he was in the grasp. Well, he caught a break, man. And Danny Horn not happy about that. Ball popped out. Gabe held on to it way too long. It's never getting rid of it. This is a <clears throat> really good job by our offensive front. I thought we held up. He had plenty of time to throw the football. Couldn't find anything down the field. Holds on to it to the last second. Not sure you can get off to a worse start in the second half. One ball all the way back down inside. Oh, you could have. Line. They could have called that one. A well, I'm saying from a yardage standpoint. And that's a 50-50 call. We've about there, run out of space. And we're down inside the three. We got to have the four. We got to have the 40-yard line for a first down. If that gives you any kind of idea. Second down. Get a handoff over here. No, nothing. So third down in a mile coming up for the Wildcats, and again, just cannot get out of our own way. Sometimes we have a dynamic offense, and we can strike from anywhere on the field. But man, these penalties are disastrous. If you're Central Clay, this is what the doctor ordered. You wanted to put the Wildcats back against the wall, and right now, just you don't want to turn the football over. Three deep safeties, 15 yards off the line of scrimmage here. Gabe back there, Malik Maddox beside him. Third and 38. Shotgun snap, going to hand off a little draw play and just trying to get what you can get. Malik with a hard run gets it out to about the 10. Just enough breathing room to try to get a punt off here. Malcolm Simmons will punt it. And we'll need another big one from Malcolm right here. And another offensive holding penalty and a ball where Gabe's just got to get rid of it. Just got to get rid of the football. Malcolm's going to line up about eight yards deep in the end zone. Just get it off. Good snap. There's a snap. Pressure. Brought it. What a good kick. line drive punt. Fielded at midfield. Blocking the back. No How penalty. in the world do you call a, a hold from 35 yards behind the line, not call a block in the back when it's right on top right of it? Right in the middle of the field for everybody to see. They return it back to the 30. Good punt by Malcolm Simmons there. Yeah, that was. Hmm. Is what you is what it is. You know, you got to clean up some of these penalties, but still, big plays and big calls like that are keys in the football game. Tie score at Moody. Silicaga and Moody tied at 14 in the third quarter. First down and 10, balls at the Wildcat 30. Shotgun snap, handoff to Heflin. D. Woods had him in the ball. He's going to keep it. The quarterback kept it this time. Pulled it inside the 15, down to the 14. His headgear comes off. They're going to have to run a new quarterback in. But that time he pulled it on the on the read option. Yeah, great play call right there. Showing that give to Heflin, and you said it at halftime, and we're all thinking it. We're not going to let five beat us. Well, the quarterback shows it to five and then comes around this left end for a big gainer. Deshaun Gibbons, low snap, going to roll out to the left over here, and he takes a hard lick from Inslee Goggins. Going to lose a few yards over here on the left side, and they'll run Darren Harris right back in there. But that was a two-yard loss there. Second down and 12 coming up, 8.36 to go in the third. Wildcats lead at 20-7. to seven. About the position, they hit us with the touchdown in the first half, and it was a post pattern. Top side of the field, you've got Lindsey wide, Brett. So Can we get in the backfield and get pressure? Got to make sure not to give up the middle of the field right here. Second down and 12. Harris takes a snap. Quick pitch over here to Heflin. Cuts back, Good and job, they're going to wrap him up. Two, three, four Wildcats going to drop him right there for no gain. It brings up third down. Jai Hicks just playing extremely good football. The juniors, 5'11", 223, sits in his zone. The cutback lane is negated. Nice job of tackling Heflin. Third down and 11. Ball's outside where it's about the 14-yard line. Actually, they'll call it at the 16, 7.46 to go here in the third. Wildcats lead 20-7. to seven. Darren Harris, third and 10. 
at the 16. Heflin will split out down here in the slot by himself. Harris looking over here to his left, under pressure. He's going to go down. Go down, D. Woods. Zai Owens. Caden Hyde, first one back there. D. Woods going to get credited with the sack. Brett and both of those guys quick off the edge and well, here's playing good down. physical football, and we'll see if they will go for it. Yeah, I think so. 20-7. to seven. Ball back to where the 17-yard line. Yeah, it's fourth and 12. I think they're going to let the clock run out and call a timeout. Ten seconds, or maybe they're going to go ahead and run us play here. They're going to run to the line of scrimmage. Five seconds, four seconds, three seconds, two seconds, one. Gets the snap off. They're going to call a timeout. I think they called a timeout right at the last second. No, a penalty over here on the near side. Is it? I think it's procedure. I don't know that they had them all lined up. Yep. Yeah, a little movement out yeah, here. The running yeah. back, they're moving Heflin out. They weren't set. To the slot, and he was still moving a bit. You know, I mean, yeah. yeah. tic-tac a little, but that's nonetheless. You've got to be set for a second. Yep. So, And they were up against the clock. Clock was trying to run out on them and ended up costing them five anyway. Delay a game or procedure. Huge play in this football game as that clock's rolling. 6.35 to go in the third. Wildcats Better watch lead 20 to 7. Don't give up a big play. Fourth down and 15. Harris in the shotgun formation. Heflin beside him to the right. Safety help over the top. There's a penalty flag. That's a false start. So Clay Central self-destructing right here. I got a timeout before the movement. GillsOpalika.info. Get pre approved in minutes online at GillsOpalika.info. For a pre owned car, truck, or SUV from Gills Auto Sales, 1430 Gateway Drive in Opalika. Adams Health and Rehab in Alexander City helps you get back to life faster. When you need the best rehabilitative care following surgery, a stroke, or heart attack, Adams Health and Rehab offers a comfortable, home-like atmosphere, private suites with phone and flat screen, even a secure Alzheimer's dementia unit, and highly skilled 24-hour nursing care. Adams Health and Rehab is here for you by helping you get back to life. Adams Health and Rehab, 256-329-0847. So you want to build a home. Build the home you want with America's Home Place. Choose from over 150 floor plans, then personalize. Tile backsplash with granite countertops, done. A spacious bathroom you've always dreamed of, you got it. Choose every detail, floors, cabinets, even the paint color. How about electric lime? Can't decide? Relax. At America's Home Place, we take care of it all. It's your home. Own it. America's Home Place. They say we live in an age of big data, where computers and fancy algorithms are supposed to know you best. But at Country Financial, we know helping you own your future requires, well, something much bigger. Contact your local Country Financial representative and start planning for your future with a personal touch. Let me tell you about a barbecue place that's not just a barbecue place anymore. It's downtown Alexander City. It's Fire Truck Barbecue, where they have a meat and three. And when I say that, those vegetables, I'm talking about fresh vegetables, not out of the can. Now, they do a lot of catering, too. I want you to go by and see my buddy Kenneth Ledbetter and the whole crew and his lovely wife, Julie, at Fire Truck Barbecue, downtown Alexander City. For over 80 years, the staff members of Radney and Langley Funeral Home have been friends in time of need, and we are dedicated to honoring, sharing, and preserving the amazing and inspirational stories of life. You've got a friend. Hey, it's Brett Pritchard, and I'm here to tell you all about Sims Foods, who you know better as Wickles Pickles. Wickles Pickles, that 90-year-old recipe, wickedly delicious. Relish, okra, and pickles. From Saturday sandwiches 
tailgate snacks to holiday dinners with your family and friends. From their family to yours, Wickles Pickles, those wickedly delicious pickles. Wickles Pickles, wickedly delicious pickles. Truckloads of fresh inventory are rolling in to Glenn Smith Chevrolet in Opelika. Right now, get 2022 Chevrolet Traverse up to $4,000 off or choose payments as low as $529 a month. Chevy Silverados up to $6,500 off. We have hundreds of new and used cars, trucks, and SUVs on the lot or on the way. Get ready to smile. Watch Lindsey. We've got Malcolm Simmons matched up with Lindsey over the top. It looks like a little, just a little wing T look. He's gonna run a guy in late. They have to keep a match there. Wyckoff. Watch gonna, twenty out of the backfield. There's Heflin. They're Brett. gonna go empty now. Fourth down and 15, 17. Step up. Harris under pressure. Yes, He's sir. going down. He sacked back here at the twenty-five. He didn't have a chance to throw it. Wildcats brought some pressure, had good coverage in the secondary, and the Wildcats have held the Central Clay Vols right there out of the end zone. D. Woods just keeps getting better and better each game. Off that left edge, fights back inside as they've got a blocker up top, Brett, but he comes back underneath and makes the tackle behind the line of scrimmage for the sack. We've got to find some offense. Now's the time to take it to him, see what kind of offensive set that we come out in. D. Woods getting everybody pumped up as he comes over here on the sideline, having another great night there on the defense side of the football. Got an H back in now to start this drive, Shelton Wright. Shotgun formation for Gabe Wright, takes the snap. Malik Maddox, handoff up the middle, still on his feet, 30, 35, all the way up to the 36, 37 yard line. Great run by the senior running back, 185 pounder. Brett's really bragged on him with his footwork and keeping those legs driving. Picks up another seven or eight yards after contact there and a first down for the Wildcats. Compliments of UAB Cardiology Associates. Wildcats going to get the snap off, hand it to Malik again. Left side trying to get a push across the 40 up to the 41-yard line. Still falling forward. Every yeah. time Malik's running the football, he's falling forward. And uh, we'll catch up with Graham here shortly and get an update on how many yards rushing Malik has. He's coming up a little gimpy after that run, but does pick up three yards there on first down, second hey, down and seven. Positive right there. Three-yard gain, leaning on them a little bit up front, kind of a dose of their own medicine. Well, it's right. a huge drive, Brett. It's 5.28 to go, counting here in the third, up by 13 points with that missed extra point. If you can turn this into a three-score game, it's going to be tough on their offense. Shotgun formation, going to drop back to pass. Gabe going to roll out to his left. Line up, throw a football down the field. It's going to come back, though. Pass is completed to 30. Another holding penalty against the Wildcats is going to come back. My goodness. I tell you, man. It's about the third or fourth holding call tonight on the Wildcats. You know, I'll say this, too. It's taking a long time to deliver the football, and our offensive linemen, they don't have so much time being blocked. You know, and we saw Gabe last year. You know, I know Gabe's trying to give his guys some time to get downfield, but you got to make some plays. You got to get rid of the football. And you're taking sacks and not Great. giving your offensive line enough time to, I mean, they can't hold a block forever. Going to be second down. We'll call it almost 20. Maybe even a little more than that. Maybe 21 yards. They'll show 20 on the board. We'll roll under five minutes to go here in the third. Got to get rid of the football. Trips down here to the bottom, one to the top. Gabe takes the snap, going to drop back, going to get rid of this one. Chris Foster down the far sideline, 40, 45, up to midfield. That's what you got to do right there. First down across the 48, out of bounds at midfield. And Chris Foster's the one that can keep them in the middle of that defense honest. And uh, if they want to rush, if they want to send guys to try to put pressure back there on Gabe, you'll hit that slot receiver with those quick passes and allow him to make plays with his legs down the field. You can do a lot of this tonight. Foster with about 17 yards there on second down. Trips down here to the bottom, first and 10. Ball at midfield, moving left to right. 436 and counting here in the third. Wildcats up 20 to seven. A penalty flag, gonna get a procedure call. It had to be a snap infraction. It's the only thing I know. Now they got a snap infraction against 
Central Clay earlier. And they're going to hit a snap infraction against us, I think. Once again, first and 15. It's almost a, it's almost a habit. One clock still running. I'm not sure it's supposed to be, but it is. Wildcats lead 20 to 7. Be right at four minutes to go in the third on this snap. Shotgun snap, going to hand off over here. Malcolm Simmons right side, turns the corner, 45 midfield, cuts outside, breaks a tackle, 45, still on his feet, going to be run out of bounds. First down, Wildcats, Malcolm Simmons into Vol territory, down to the 44-yard line. Now, I don't know if that's going to be a first. Oh, he's going to be right at it, my fault. Yep, I was looking at the, the wrong stick, going to pick up six. So it'll be second down and four. I was looking at the other side. Well, you, you're, you're thinking six, which would well, be normally right, but we go back five yeah, on that's first right. down. That's so exactly it's 11 right. yard gain there on. We would have had a first. Sure. <laughs> Good run, We're though. We're not trying to get 15 yards every time. Sets up second and four. Clock is stopped, 342 to go in the third. Two to the top, two to the bottom. Shotgun snap, going to hand off Malcolm. Nope, going to fake it. Gabe's going to keep it around left side. I'm telling you. 40 that's yard the call. line. Kick it outside, 35. Still on his feet. Going to go down right there. That is a Wildcat first down. Compliments to UAB Cardiology Associates. You called it, Randy. Show it to Malcolm. They all converge. He pulls it and picks up a first down. Well, the more you do that, if you do it two, three, four times and a half, then they've got to respect that. Well, and Gabe's Gabe going to go down. down. He's got a cramp. Gabe's going to go down to 45, and this is an official timeout. It's not going to be a charge timeout to us, but run around the left side and – it's definitely a cramp. It's the first one we've seen tonight, 3.22 to go. And this is actually going to be a heat timeout now, so we'll take one with them. A&M Plumbing, excuse me, it's going to be a little tough. Uh, we've had a little change uh, in it for years. It's been A&M. It's an A&M Plumbing timeout on the field. 20-7 to 7 is your score. You're listening to the Wildcat Football Network. Welcome to Alex City Food Shop, your locally owned and operated shell station located at Highway 280 and Airport Drive. Fill up with Shell V-Power Nitro Plus Premium Gasoline and get the best total engine protection you can get, period. Stop by anytime, day or night, open 24-7, and check out the great specials on all your favorite convenience store items. Keep that car clean with a touch-free car wash, where your sixth wash is always free. Also, be sure to use your FRN and Winn-Dixie Reward Card and save on all of your gasoline purchases. Alex City Internal Medicine and Nephrology and Weight Loss Center provides optimum care for the whole person. Dr. Demo Popov specializes in the prevention and diagnosis of high blood pressure, kidney disease, diabetes, and acute and chronic conditions. Our weight loss clinic offers lipo shots and a guide to healthy weight loss. Alex City Internal Medicine and Nephrology and Weight Loss Center, where lifestyle changes are made. Hey, this is Doug Roberts, long-term resident of Alexander City. I sold my house with Century 21 Lake Area Realty because all my life I had heard that to sell a house, you need three things, location, location, location. I found out there's actually four. You need location, 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 and Rhonda Gaskins at Century 21 Lake Area Realty to sell your house fast. Call me today and let me go to work for you. 256-749-3644. Morris Haynes Law Firm in Ellick City has had a fantastic 2022. Morris Haynes has settled cases totaling over $7 million and has tried cases in five different counties from Mobile to Etowah, where Alabama juries have awarded over $5 million. If you, a family member, or a friend is harmed by the wrongdoing of another, please consider giving Morris Haynes a call, 256-329-2000. No representation is made that the quality of legal services to be performed is greater than the quality of legal services performed by other lawyers. For the most complete real estate service, Riverbank & Trust has it all covered. Whether you're purchasing land, a lot for future construction, or buying your dream home, Riverbank & Trust can help. With conventional, jumbo, VA, FHA, and USDA loans with competitive interest rates, Riverbank & Trust can close your loan from start to finish in 30 days or less. Let Melanie Foshi, Randy Dawkins, Abby Guy, or Phil Blassingame put their nearly 100 years of combined experience to work for you, simplifying the buying process. Riverbank & Trust, for complete real estate service in the Lake Martin area. 
Life's too short for bad appliances. Let Tapley Appliance Center in Alex City give you the long-term relationship you need in your next appliance purchase. Tapley sells only the best brands like Whirlpool, KitchenAid, Amana, and Maytag. And with Tapley, you get better selection, quality, and warranties, as well as professional delivery and installation. Tapley knows you're going to be happy long-term because our brands are built for the long run. Tapley Appliance off Cherokee Road in Alex City. Call 256-329-9762 for superior selection, value, you and service. Top Gun 1, this is Tower. Termite swarm season is here. Time to lock and load. Top Gun 1, over. Tower, this is Top Gun 1. I'm arming my state-of-the-art termite tech device that uses sonar technology to find termites in your home without going into your walls or floors. Roger that, Top Gun 1. You are clear to engage. For bond or service, call Top Gun Pest Control at 256-234-7375. With over 20 years of combined experience, our team can eliminate all pests from your home. Top Gun Pest Control, because we feel the tug to kill some bugs. It's hot outside, but the deals at Tallahassee Power and Equipment are hotter. Save hundreds off your zero turn or riding mower today. Visit us at Tallahassee Power and Equipment and save up to $600 off MSRP on your new Husqvarna zero turn while supplies last. Husqvarna offers quality and performance and is backed by a five-year warranty. Financing available with approved credit. Visit TallahasseePower.com or drop by the store on Highway 14 in Tallahassee and follow us on Facebook. Let us get you in the right mower at the right price today. 3.20 to go here in the third. Wildcats up 20 to 7. Trips down here to the bottom one to the top here on first and 10. Malcolm Simmons will be your quarterback. Gabe Benton getting that cramp worked out. It's going to be a direct snap right up the middle inside the 35 down to around the 32, 31-yard line goes Malcolm Simmons. Staying behind his pads, running physical, picking up three or four yards there on first down. Clock will roll. 2.50 and counting to go here in the third. Wildcats lead 20 to seven and got to cash this one in, Brett. No matter how you spin it, need to cash one in here. Malik Maddox out, split, not in the backfield. Let's see if we'll bring hey, him Malcolm back. Malcolm Simmons can throw the football, by the way, too. Trips down here to the bottom, gonna take it, run to the right, found a scene, cuts back in. Woo! What a move, outside, he's gone! Touchdown, highlight reel, Malcolm Simmons, 32 yards. Superstar, I mean, he, he can three stop. Guys, he he shoot three guys completely out of the shoes. Can slap stop on a dime. Able to get seven, eight yards into the secondary, and by the time he's in the secondary, they don't have an athlete that can keep up with him. Cuts it back to the left, into the left corner of the end zone Boy, he's for the a touchdown. Game breaker. He's a difference maker. Boy, he just gave everybody a show right there, buddy. Good luck. And, boy, this ain't anything special. He's in the shotgun by himself. Extra point is up and is good. But let me tell you, everybody in the world knows he's going to run the football, and he juked three guys clean out of the cleats. 27-7, to seven, Malcolm Simmons is the real deal. I tell you what, I've been impressed with him too. You know, I, I always say this, been doing it with you a long time. Some guys can start cramping and deal with cramps different than others. Malcolm has been fighting one off since about midway through the he second quarter. He looked like quarter. a cramp right there, did he? He's been stretching that left calf, right calf, and he gets into the secondary. My, my point is to make a dynamic play like that, having played as many plays as he's played out there, that speaks volumes about what kind of athlete he is, bro. And we got them all getting stretched out. Gabe, Corey, Malcolm, everybody getting stretched out. I think Nuke's trying to get some room on the table over here, trying to get stretched out as well. Putting those fluids in them, trying to get them cranked up. You just said it. Patterson parts and truck drive recap. I mean, Wildcats able to cash that one in 70 yards on the drive. Had to overcome some penalties again, but we're able to do it. This team's got some dynamic playmakers, man. They make third and 15 or first and 20 look easy. Pooch kick down to the 20. Going to bring it out. Man, Takes a hit. Still, oh, my goodness, at oh, the 35. He took a lick from Caden Hyde right there and was put on his back. I the tell Wildcats you else, have I, a little swagger right there. Tell you who else I'm impressed with, Shelton Wright. Shelton takes – the up back out totally. He's the one that made the first big pop in the middle of the field. Uh, Caden's going to get 
boy, noticed he, for making yeah. that tackle, but I like the ones that come down and just end Take it on for the, the ones that are, right. that are up there to block. And uh, well, we're a lot physical. of our kids playing physical out there. Yeah, it's Malcolm turn on the on the uh, training table getting worked out. 2.22 to go here in the third. Wildcats up 27-7. to seven. Playing Corey at corner now to start this drive. Harris going to hand off to Heflin over here. and Heflin just found a little bit of a seam, squirted through, got about three or four yards over there. It's a great thing that you can do. Malcolm, who's played a lot of snaps, you put another dynamic athlete over there at corner that's 6'3". Uh, you know, good luck trying to throw the ball to Lindsey on that side with um, – Corey Milliner matched up with him. Uh, only three yards there on first down. Sets up second and seven. We've rolled under two minutes to go in the third. Wildcats lead 27-7. Harris shotgun sends Hamlet in motion right to left. Three down here to the bottom. Going to hand it to Heflin over here. Left. That's job. holding. That's he is getting hold. absolutely held to death, and they finally throw it. Caden Hyde got spun around, and I think he pulled something in his leg. I mean, you talk about one that just ripped his jersey off. And but they he, finally threw it after about 15 people lobbied for it over here. But Hope Caden's okay. He's grabbing his hamstring, and I think he's going to have to come out of the game. Great football play, though, by Caden. They try to – Well, he got off of it, and, man, he – Try to roll a blocker out here on him. He steps up, takes it on, shoulder pad in the chest, stymies the block, makes the running back, cut it back inside, and we make a tackle in the backfield. Really good job by the junior linebacker, and he's come to play tonight. He's been all over the field, special teams, and on the defensive side of the ball. Two to the top, one down to the bottom. Shotgun formation. And I think there is a penalty. There's going to be a snap infraction against. This is three times tonight we've seen the center get called for moving the football. So the Brett. balls are going backwards. It's second 25 coming up. Now 152 yards rushing for the Wildcats on the ball That's game. That's impressive. 102 of those coming from Malcolm Simmons on 11 carries, almost a 10-yard per carry average. You know, Coach Grider told me in the locker room before the game, we've got to run the football tonight. No questions asked. And they've showed up. Well, Central Clay, tip you, they've, they've held us in check throwing the football. Only three completions yeah, tonight. Absolutely. Big plays, though. Hand off Heflin over the right side and – Got through, got up to about the 28-yard line. He's dangerous, man, I'm telling you. Well, my point, though, with him is most teams they play, that's going to be a 14-yard game. Right. Right now, the way we're running to the football and our physical play, it's a six-yard game. Six game. You'll give up five, six, seven-yard gains from time to time with a good back back there in the backfield. But we're not giving up these big chunk yards. He's third and 15 here. 48 seconds to go in the third. Harrison, the shotgun. Two to the top. One down here to the bottom, Heflin to his left. 10 seconds on the play clock. Harris takes the snap, gonna look to the right, trying to roll out under pressure. Zowens had him back there. Yes, That's sir, Corey. Corey. Corey Milner, outstanding by Corey. Yes, he did, intercepted Corey Milner on the far sideline. He read the play, and the Wildcats will take over at the Clay Central 35. Well, I mentioned it. As we started that drive, you want to give Malcolm a break. You put an athlete back there that I think is equal in Corey Milliner. You put him at corner. You match him up with their best receiver. They try to find something, and Corey makes a dynamic play over there on the sideline. Love to see it, Brett. Love to see kids willing to go play both sides of the ball. Well, and he and gets in there and he makes, a, makes an outstanding play. He's cramping too. Yeah, well, okay. 28 seconds to go. He'll get worked out over here. 27 to 7, 28 seconds to go in the third. Gabe Benton back in at quarterback. Going to turn around and hand it off Malik. Found the scene. Good Powering man. ahead. He's got five. He's got six. Down inside the 30. Down to around the 26-yard line goes Malik Maddox. Love the way Malik Maddox is running the football here tonight. It's north-south running. There's no dancing when he's got the football. He's bouncing around. Quick feet back there. We'll take this thing to the fourth leading by 20, 27 to seven. And we're starting to lean on them right now too, Brett. We'll take a break. That is your s, &S discount tire score. We got one quarter left. You're listening to the Wildcat Football Network. Welcome to Alex City Food Shop, your locally owned and operated shell station located at Highway 280 and Airport Drive. Fill up with Shell V-Power Nitro Plus Premium Gasoline and get the best total engine protection you can get, period. 
Stop by anytime, day or night, open 24-7, and check out the great specials on all your favorite convenience store items. Keep that car clean with a touch-free car wash, where your six wash is always free. Also, be sure to use your FRN and Winn-Dixie reward card and save on all of your gasoline purchases. Alex City Internal Medicine and Nephrology and Weight Loss Center provides optimum care for the whole person. Dr. Demo Popov specializes in the prevention and diagnosis of high blood pressure, kidney disease, diabetes, and acute and chronic conditions. Our weight loss clinic offers lipo shots and a guide to healthy weight loss. Alex City Internal Medicine and Nephrology and Weight Loss Center, where lifestyle changes are made. Hey, this is Doug Roberts, long-term resident of Alexander City. I sold my house with Century 21 Lake Area Realty because all my life I had heard that to sell a house you need three things. Location, location, location. I found out there's actually four. You need location, 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 and Rhonda Gaskins at Century 21 Lake Area Realty to sell your house fast. Call me today and let me go to work for you. 256-749-3644. Morris Haynes Law Firm in Ellick City has had a fantastic 2022. Morris Haynes has settled cases totaling over $7 million and has tried cases in five different counties from Mobile to Etowah, where Alabama juries have awarded over $5 million. If you, a family member, or a friend is harmed by the wrongdoing of another, please consider giving Morris Haynes a call, 256 329 2000. No representation is made that the quality of legal services to be performed is greater than the quality of legal services performed by other lawyers. For the most complete real estate service, Riverbank & Trust has it all covered. Whether you're purchasing land, a lot for future construction, or buying your dream home, Riverbank & Trust can help. With conventional, jumbo, VA, FHA, and USDA loans with competitive interest rates, Riverbank & Trust can close your loan from start to finish in 30 days or less. Let Melanie Foshi, Randy Dawkins, Abby Guy, or Phil Blassingame put their nearly 100 years of combined experience to work for you, simplifying the buying process. Riverbank & Trust, for complete real estate service in the Lake Martin area. The all-new Triple R Cafe in Rockford is open and the place for true Southern-style cooking. Open Tuesday through Saturday in downtown Rockford on US 231. The Triple R Cafe serves up true Southern cooking with a meat and three for lunch. And on Friday and Saturday, get the best dinners in the area with fresh from the garden vegetables. Guff-style scallops and shrimp and bayou-style alligator. Central Alabama's new place for Southern-style cooking with a down-home atmosphere. That's the all-new Triple R Cafe in downtown Rockford. Honey, it's Mom. Just wanted to call and check in, see how everything's going. You'll probably say not to worry. Everything is great. But we just, we miss you. I'll call you back later. Hey, how are you today? Tell me everything. Everything's great. I love it here. Why is Sarah Automotive Group on Highway 280 in Sylacauga the place for the best deals on your new ride? Three compelling reasons. One, with three full new car dealers on one lot, you get the best in comparison and incentives on Fords, Hondas, and Nissan with unmatched selection. Two, Sarah pays over market value for your trade to maintain East Central Alabama's best pre-owned vehicle selection and sales. And three, the Sarah Automotive price won't be beat and delivers lower payments and huge value on your next buy. Shop online or on Highway 280 in Sylacauga. To seven. And as you mentioned, Randy, going into the break, we're leaning on him a little bit. Malik Maddox got – he's hopping around back here. He wants the football. Well, I think this is his quarter. I really do. Uh, he's got 48 yards rushing here in the ball game, um, right at five yards per carry, but he's bouncing off the of tackles. And every time Malik's touching the football, we're going forward. It may only be a three-yard game, but we're going forward. Well, he's got momentum. And um, – our offensive line really not knocking them off the football right now, and that's something you love to see. And I'd, I'd like to see us physically take it to a team that's in a fifth year under that's Danny Horn. for physical. Well, you know that they play physical and they teach physical, and if you're able to, to take it to a group like that, you're doing something. 27-7. to seven. Wildcats have it second down and five at the ball, 27. Shotgun snap, going to hand it to Malik. Good Found the scene. Right up the middle, 20, cuts it outside. Down to the 16-yard line goes Malik Maddox. New set of downs, first down Wildcats. Compliments of UAB Cardiology Associates. That blue 
that defensive line three, four yards off the ball, Randy. Yeah, Chaden Allen's going to come out. He's cramping in his left leg. We'll send Patterson in. Going to change it around. Patterson will now go to center. To center and uh, center going out to left tackle. All right, left, yep, yep. now left. But again, Malik Maddox, another yep. outstanding run there. Gabe in the shotgun, first down and 10 at the 17. Malik beside him, actually a little bit behind him in the backfield. Takes a snap, going to pull it. Gabe yes. going to run to the right. Going to dive inside the 10, Just get down pick. to around the 8. Here's the beauty of that body for Gabe Benton. 6'3", 210, by the way. He falls forward for four or five yards after contact, and right there he gets eight yards, shows the give to the senior Malik Maddox, goes around right in, picks up eight yards on first down, sets up second and two. 11.06 to go here in the fourth. Wildcats lead 27-7. to seven. Got Shelton right in at H-back, too, trying to lean on him a bit, Brett. Ball at the nine-yard line. 10.56 and counting. Wildcats up 27-7. to seven. <clears throat> Love the Wildcats to finish his drive off right here. Second down and two. Handoff Malik, dropped it on the ground, picked it up. It was kind of a weird handoff right there. Didn't kind of, didn't get a clean give that time. Now Gabe never had it. Actually was rolling around. Malik goes down on the ground and grabs it. We'll call it maybe a one-yard loss. Um, I'm not sure they lost anything. They didn't move the chains at all. It's still at the nine-yard line, so no loss there. Third and two. Like to cash this in, Brett. Close this thing out, my friend. Gabe with a hard snap count. Now going to turn and look to the sideline. Going to change the play up. Ten gonna seconds. Going to walk Nuke McKinney in here. Got plenty of time. Going to get set up. Five seconds. Cakes the snap. Going to hand off Malik left side. Got a first down. Going to power it inside. It'll be first and goal. Man, he's driving those legs, running that football as hard as you'd like. Can't say enough positive things about Malik Maddox here tonight and the way that he's run that football. And love to see him cash one in. Um, he's due and deserves to cash one in. And that left side of the front getting good push. That's big Cooper Spears over there. Patterson in the football game at center, as you saw Chaden Allen go out. Wildcats in no hurry Vick right here, 9.35 to go. Cameron Vickers, your left tackle, but he's played center a majority of the game. First and goal at the five. Gabe Benton, shotgun snap, going to hand Malik Maddox, stutter step, off the left side, driving, inside the three, inside the two, touchdown down to the one. Did he get it? Yes, he did. Touchdown, Malik Maddox. He Good. ran over two central clay balls, would not be denied, and got in for the score. Just great running there by the senior, 185-pounder, about 5'8", 5'9", has put on a lot of strength and has worked exceptionally hard in the offseason. I haven't talked to a single person that doesn't think a lot of his leadership abilities and how good of a person he is. And just nice to see him cash one in right there in his senior year over here at Clay County. 33-7 to Wildcats lead with 9-19 to go in the ball game. There's a slow snap, and this one will be blown dead again. So we are struggling right now with some snap issues and getting the hold down. We'll get procedure again. The Wildcats, in spite of these penalties, Randy, have put up a ton of points tonight and a ton of points last night. Hey, you come over here and you expect to, if you win, run them out of the gym. Wow. We powered them out of the gym Yeah, tonight. no doubt. Let's get a good snap here. That one's high. Ty's going to have to take it and run to the left. Cuts back inside and going to be down so we are having some issues right now on special team snouts but try to get it cleaned up 33 to 7 Wildcats lead it in control here with 9 16 to go in the football game and outside of one play they haven't really been able to do much on offense you know and I you know I mentioned that that it was a post pattern we just somehow got our safeties bit in right and um this year, I expect a lot of things to possibly happen uh, to go up against some teams that may be able to run the football on us, but I don't know about them hitting us over the top down the middle of the field. That seems like a strength. So, I knew when that's the way that they scored, uh, it was going to be tough on them the rest of the I'm, night. I can't say I'm proud, enough. I'm proud for Malik Maddox. Malik you, Maddox you has it, played man. so well. and um, <clears throat> He deserved to finish that drive. And 
You know, he was hit at about the five-yard line, and he absolutely refused. He kept those legs driving, ran over two, I think, three balls to get in the end zone. So, And our offensive line play. I, I had that kid as a little league player, and let me tell you something. You just love coming to the to the practice field. He smiled all the time, did everything you asked him to do, never complained. He's what you want on your football team, and he's waited his turn. And it's, it's his year back there in the backfield, and I'm proud for him. Here comes Noah Alsabrook. He'll kick off, left-footed kicker. Boy, he has added hey, so much distance. This this go. He fumbles it out of bounds. He fumbled it out of bounds at the two-yard line. <laughs> Terry Heflin had it bounce off his hands, and it went out of bounds back inside the five. I think it went out at the two. You can see along the far side, that team is. Well, you had a feel yeah. before the game that they had a sense what possibly could be coming. <clears throat> you know, and well, we've, won, a, we've won five football games in the last two years, so a lot of yeah. us fans that have been well, supporters, we don't want to say too much no. here in the early going, but <clears throat> look, we well, got a good football team. Well, I'm willing finish, to say that right let's now. Let's finish the football game. 9-14 to go. They're backed up. It did go out at the two. Don't let them squirt through right here. I'll have everybody pinched in in that wishbone formation. Harris under center. Hand off over there on the right side. He's running laterally. I don't think he got out. I think it's a safety. Yeah, uh, they're going to give it to oh him at the one. Yeah, I mean, that was a gift. The head official runs up and shows like he's out by an inch, but Malcolm's headgear comes off again. He's got to come out, but. He started running laterally, and the ball has got to be touching the goal line. Now we're gonna have to call a timeout. We didn't have enough men on the field. Malcolm had to come out for a headgear issue, and we were late getting a guy on the field. So, we'll and, Ty, keep... and Ty Williams letting yes, baby, the young Jay. man know that you know what more do you have to do? You got to be prepared, and yeah, um, just got to have your head in the game and. You never know when it's going to be your time to, to come in. And, and he goes back over there. Yeah. You know, hits him he, on the head. He gets it. Lets him know. But 840 to go in the ball game. Wildcats lead 33-7. to seven. Brett, it's, uh, it's been a beauty here. It's been a, it has. a physical football game. We've only completed three passes. That is the, the most unbelievable stat of the night there. Well, it's the best stat. It is because you've got to run the football to be successful. And, you know, Coach Grider talked to me in the locker room. He said, Brett, he said, they're going to take our passing game away. We know that. So, we've got to be able to counter running the football, and that's what we've done tonight. You know, it's looked different from time to time, but that's also a positive. Plus, you know, Gabe's been able to pull it and run. Yes. That's helped a lot. And, boy, when you got Malcolm Simmons in the backfield, good Lord. Well, he's got 102 yards on 11 carries. So, two touchdown runs. He's also got an interception. Vice versa, Cord Milliner's got two catches for 121 yards and a touchdown. He's got an interception. Right. So both of them playing extremely well on both sides of the ball. But here's a good opportunity here for this defense, Brett. Like to stand up, play physical, see if we can get a tackle in the backfield. Ball might be on the inch yard line. Second down. Under center again on that right side. And it's a scrum. Ain't much at all over there, maybe a couple of yards. Third down coming up for the balls. Inside the three. They're gonna be third and seven. Clock will probably roll under eight minutes to go here in the football game on this snap. <clears throat> Wildcats lead by 26 points. Don't wanna let anything big. Well, like this that. defense so far He's only given up 14 points the first string has this year in two ball games. Third down and nine, only one yard. A little counter play over here to the left side, and he's going to fall up here around the – he's going to be short. Yeah, he's going to get up to the there. nine. Yeah, not going to be there. Fourth down, and they're going to punt the football, I would think. Yeah, they don't you, have to. You're not going to run it right here. So 7.39 to go, and 
The Clay Central fans heading for the exits across the way. Cars already leaving. I like to see it. I'm going to be honest with you. 33 to 7. We want every opponent to get home early this year. Ty Williams back deep. Well, yeah, he's standing at their 35. We got a chance here. Boy, he shanked this one. And it's going to go backwards, and the Wildcats will have it at the 36. Plenty of time. Want to cash another one? Yeah, in. just keep keep running the football. Power football at its best. 704. Roll this clock out. That's what you got to do. Not really worried about scoring. Just a good methodical drive. If you break one, so be it. But just eat this clock up. Let's get back to Alex City. 2-0. and Calera coming in next week to the Sportplex. Very good football team. Watch some film on them against Spain Park. They are huge up front. Going to send a lot of the second <laughs> unit guys out there. Elijah Johnson, who was a freshman and one of the captains tonight. How much the, this coaching staff thinks of him. He'll be in there at the quarterback. Shotgun snap. Going to hand off left side over here. That's Baby J. No. No, no it's not. Ball's loose. And a fumble. Knocked out of his hand. My goodness. That's T.J. Wilson who, there's a flag. Let's see what the flag is. Central Clay's got a man down. I think that was a block below the waist. That's a holding penalty. Okay, holding. Back here, I couldn't really see the signal from the official. He's turned around the other side. We can put some of the youngsters in there. And Wildcats put it on the ground. T.J. Wilson, he took a hard shot, but he got to learn to hold on to the football. Tough kid back up and moving off. That's Denzel McNeil. That's Elijah McNeil's brother and my good friend Bo Glenn's nephew out there, so I'm really happy to see him running off the field. Right. I haven't called his name much tonight. He's a, he's a good athlete for them, young kid. But the Wildcats turn it over. Wildcats back on defense, and they'll keep their starting unit out there. T.J. Wilson running the football yeah. hard. Had about a six or seven yard gain off the left side, but a good stick coming up from the secondary. Knocked that one loose. Well, the football is on back here close to the 20, I think, isn't it? Yeah, it's going to come back to the 27-yard line. 26-27. 33-7, Wildcats. Play Central with the football, 6.54 to go. Timeout going to be called. Hey, they're, they're confused. I'll, mean, I'll make a mention of this, and again, we'll keep it right here. And again, Wildcats in the last three years haven't really tallied a lot of wins. Got better last year as the year went on. I, th I thought this is the nucleus of this team this year that, that came back that won three of their last five games last year. But you come back and, you know, predictions are predictions. And across the state, I don't think anybody picked Benjamin Russell this week. And um, they knew that. And, 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 again, like you said, Randy, we've all been quiet. We knew kind of what we had. But you got to you gotta silence the doubters by your play on the field. And um, tonight the Wildcats have done that, and they've, they've come into a very tough place to play football, and they put 33 points on the board and have had a stellar performance on the defensive side. Well, they've, they've come in and really taken it too, and I, I know that communities can have up and downs, but Central Clay's not going to be really down this year. I bet they win a lot of football games. They're a top 10 ranked 5A team, and they're there for a good reason. They're there year in and year out, and they deserve to be there. Uh, but physically, with only three completions in the football game, been able to run the football for right at 175 yards, and that's the positive that I see out here tonight. Shotgun formation for <clears throat> Central Clay. Handoff in the backfield is Heflin. Heflin trying to knife his way through. Caden Hyde there, and the ball helmet ripped off. And there's going to be a penalty fly right here. A a score from Moody, 28 to 17. Moody, but Silicaga holding their own right here. 
28 to 17. Penalty against the Wildcats, face mask. And just don't want to get sloppy right here with 6.46 to go in the game. We've had a fumble on the last offensive play and now here a 15 yard face mask penalty. It's got to rein it in. There's still a lot to work on with this football team. It's, it's easier to go into the film room when you're up and you win and you can work on some things, but you got to clean these penalties up. Actually, at Malcolm at corner and Corey back at safety now. Harris takes a snap in the shotgun. Going to shoot a pass over here complete. He knocked out of bounds right here at the 45-yard line. Pass was complete up here to Deshaun Gibbons. <clears throat> Just quick out pattern. We're seven, eight yards off the ball. Just giving that up at this point. 6.22 and counting to go in the ball game. 33 to seven Wildcats lead. Um, haven't been able to outside of that one touchdown pass over the top hit any, anything deep on us. Harris gonna hand off to Heflin. Heflin through the middle. Good tackle by Corey. Yeah, he takes a snap, but he what dropped the ball. What a tackle by Corey. Man, Heflin's hurt. Fumble. Heflin got rolled up big time. Hi, this is Brian Bice with Bice Motors. With our all-star lineup of Dodge trucks, Jeep, SUVs, and Chrysler cars, we offer the area a team dedicated to making your next vehicle purchase a positive experience. Our sales team offers competitive pricing, and we back up all sales with the service department second to none. Bice Motors also offers the area's best selection of pre-owned vehicles. Visit Bice Motors at 2133 Cherokee Road in Alexander City. From the smallest drippy faucet to drain cleaning to water heater replacement to gas lines to total systems replacement, AM Plumbing handles it all. Visit amplumbing.net today for the experienced, licensed, and insured pros at AM Plumbing. AM Plumbing, AM Plumbing, service at its best when you need it most. Have you met your local farmer's insurance agent, Patrick Holina? He proudly serves Tallapoosa County and Alexander City families and businesses and is ready to review your existing policies or provide a no-obligation quote today. Call the Holina Agency at 256-234-0037 or stop in today at 704 Commerce Drive to get smarter about your insurance. Again, that's the Holina Agency, 256-234-0037. We are farmers. Bum, ba, da, bum, 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 bum. Underwritten by Farmers, Truck Fire Insurance, Exchanges, and Affiliates. Products not available in every state. Latemark Garage, located on Highway 280 in Jackson's Gap, has been serving our area since 1993. From routine maintenance such as oil changes, tune-ups, and rotating and balancing your tires, to transmission and engine repair, our trained and certified mechanics will get you back on the road better than before. Need a tow? With a 24-hour, 7-day-a-week towing service, Latemark Garage has local and long-range pickup. Trust your vehicle needs to the professionals at Latemark Garage. Call 256-825-6139, or better yet, stop in and see them today. Latemark Garage. Flowers are the easiest way to add beauty and glamour to your home or outdoors. The Potting Shed in Auburn has everything your heart desires. You'll find an array of beautiful flowers and plants that will provide inviting pops of color and texture to any area. Along with decorative pots, planters, fountains, and great gardening gifts. It's all at the Potting Shed, where elements reign supreme. Visit them today at the corner of Moore's Mill and Society Hill, or their new location on the corner of Highway 280 and North College Street in Auburn. Hey, it's Brett Pritchard, and I'm here to tell y'all about Sims Foods, who you know better as Wickles Pickles. Wickles Pickles, that 90-year-old recipe, wickedly delicious, relish, okra, and pickles. From Saturday sandwiches, tailgate snacks, to holiday dinners with your family and friends. From their family to yours, Wickles Pickles, those wickedly delicious pickles. Wickles Pickles, wickedly delicious pickles. John Strickland says it's going by Strickland's Watch. Yes, Strickland's Watch on Dayville Road. The girls will get those great biscuits ready every day. That's Monday through Friday. Propane now every day. Pellet ice every day. And also, don't forget about the, the fish. Fish and tackle, bait, minnows, and worms. So you're going to get that service. Now you will get that John Strickland service. Like, hey, I appreciate it. Y'all come on back to see us at Strickland's Watch. 
Brubaker Motors in Montgomery is the largest and fastest growing used car dealership in the River Region. You can absolutely get a better buy at Brubaker. It's better at Brubaker.com. Brubaker! Brubaker! Absolutely get a better buy at Brubaker. B-R-E-W-B-A-K-E-R. B-R-E-W-B-A-K-E-R.com. It's better at Brubaker.com. Third down and seven. Stop and play again. And I'm not sure what's going on, Coach. Going to send Caden Hyde. Maybe an equipment violation or equipment issue with Zai. He's going to come out and Caden will come in. Third and seven, five, 12 and counting here in the ball game. Wildcats up 33 to seven. There's a snap play action. Quarterback gonna dump it out of the backfield. Another good tackle over there on the sideline by Corey. May have picked up right at the first down He's marker and does. He's got it, yep. Yeah, gets down inside the four, actually to the 40. Still 33 to seven, the Wildcats lead, and we've rolled under five minutes to go here in the football game. <clears throat> 445 to go. Still very little down the field, Brett. Not even really trying. Right. You're gonna hand off again up the middle. Ooh. Man, what a hit! Coming up like a missile. Ainsley Goggins. Man, I'm telling you, he loves it. He loves to come downhill and hit you with everything he's got. Run inside the 35 down to the 34. So I picked up six, but boy, he felt it. I can tell you that. Damian Cosby at, at running back, running hard, Brett. 5'5, yeah, 162. Boy, he got a little speed, too. Yeah, four minutes to go in the game. Pass over here. Good job good, holding good on. Good job over there. Pass complete down to the 30. Yeah, just a hitch pattern. Probably picked up the first down a yard or two past the sticks. Yep, did it. The clock's rolled under four minutes to go in the ball game. Another tackle, the third one of the night for the senior Corey Milliner. Three forty-five to go in the ball game. First and ten at the twenty-nine. Handoff left side. Wildcats going to rip him down in the backfield. D Woods, man. And that guy, I'm telling you. <clears throat> Second and 12, two yard loss there on the play. 3.15 to go here in the football game. Wildcats gonna get a big win tonight. 33 to seven is your score currently. Play action, Harris gonna look downfield, gonna dump it out. My goodness, had a chance for a pick. And Inslee Goggins would have been off to the races right there if he was able to grab it. Trying to look for Bryant Hamlet out of the backfield. Third down and 12 coming up for the Vols. Wildcats with an impressive 33 to seven win. Our lead right now, hopefully it will stay that way. Third down and 12 coming up at the Wildcat 31-yard line. Wildcats will be home next Friday night against Calera. That'll be our first region game. Shotgun snap going to be a draw play back the other side. And there's Simmons. First time we called his name tonight. I did the little smoke draw to the right and came back to the left. And there's a penalty flag. We'll see what the uh, call is. Let's see what it is. Dead ball, personal foul. They're targeting. I mean, I, I, I didn't see it across the way, so I can't I can't say one way or the other. But mm. boy, we're gonna have 150 yards and penalties. I mean, I really bet the discrepancy in the penalties is 17 to 20 for us and maybe three or four for them. Is that about right? I hadn't seen many on them. Now, I know it hadn't made a big difference in the game, but it is. But it's 
at a certain point when you got 20 and they got four or five. And I, I, I can't get over the one called from 35 yards behind the line. <clears throat> I mean, Coach he, he had to take a hop, <clears throat> skip, and a jump to throw the flag far enough to get it 10 yards from the line of scrimmage. He's that far away. <laughs> I did get three texts from different people tonight saying, how in the world did that guy see that? He did. That far back. Third and one. Amazing that that didn't even pick up a first down. Man, Hand off in the backfield, and the Wildcats going to get him back there. Playing great defensively, standing our ground. They are getting zero push. And D. Woods is, you got to give me a chance to get down there and get a good photo of this young man because he has put on a show here tonight. Yeah, he Brad. has, fourth down and one. He did last week. He did. We bragged on him a lot. Second half, he didn't have to do much. Right. So it was kind of hard to see, but he's had the chance to play a full game tonight. Right. He's been outstanding. Here it is, fourth and one, wishbone formation. And snap, handoff in the backfield. They found a little seam. He's loose. Inside the 15, down to the 12. It'll be first down. <clears throat> 158 and counting here in the ball game. Wildcats trying to hold him out of the end zone. Wildcats going to get a big victory here tonight. Just a matter if they're going to be able to put one more score on the board or not. Timeout, Benjamin Russell. We'll take a quick timeout with them. AM Plumbing timeout. 33-7 is your SNS discount tire score. You're listening to the Wildcat Football Network. This is Joseph Dean with Alabama Funeral Homes. As many of you are aware, we had a fire that significantly damaged our facilities. We were in the process of getting those rebuilt. We apologize for any inconvenience this may have caused the families that we serve. I want you to know that we are capable of handling all of your needs at Frederick Dean Funeral Home of Opelika, which will be servicing Alabama Funeral Homes families. We can be reached at our same number, 256-896-4502, or by email at joseph at Alabama Funeral homes.com so you finally got the boat, ATV, or side-by-side -side of your dreams, huh? Then make it yours with marine-grade audio that'll provide crisp, high-quality sound that's loud enough to be heard. Whether you're cruising on the lake or hitting a mud hole, come see Steve at the Car Stereo Shop in Auburn so you'll be ready to crank up the volume. Whoa, but wait. You don't have to pull out of the water and trailer it to Auburn. The Car Stereo Shop can handle all of your work at any one of the Lake Martin Marinas. Heritage South Credit Union in Alexander City is your community credit union, and they have been for over 80 years. Heritage South Credit Union proudly serves Tallapoosa, Coosa, Lee, Chambers, Randolph, and Chilton Counties. From checking to business accounts, to share savings, to club accounts, to their kids club and investments, visit them online at myhscu.com. Heritage South Credit Union, your community credit union for 80 years, federally insured by NCUA. Hi, I'm Scott Blake. I'm Angie Richardson, and we are the loan team here at Movement Mortgage. Whether you're a first-time home buyer or you've gone through the process before, our mission is to help you move forward with the purchase of your future plans. Call me at 256-397-2771. Or call me at 256-794-1003. Scott Blake, NMLS number 527945. Angie Richardson, NMLS number 216556. Movement Mortgage supports equal housing opportunity, NMLS number 39179. For licensing information, please visit NMLS Consumer Access. At Russell Medical, we're proud of our exceptional nurses, like Nurse Brandy Worthy. Brandy represents the selfless, compassionate clinical leader patients expect and co-workers admire. Brandy was recently honored with the Nightingale Award for Nursing Excellence for her high standards, sound judgment, and caring manner. Her passion for her profession inspires us all. Being a nurse is not just what you do, it's who you are. I'm proud to be a part of the nursing team at Russell Medical. We are the link between all hospital services, providing you with exceptional, personalized care. Hello, this is Scotty Gordon at Cornerstone Insurance. Are you tired of paying too much for your home and auto insurance? If so, give us the opportunity to help you. At Cornerstone, we have three goals for all of our clients. Asset protection, affordable pricing, and superior customer service. Come by and give us a call today to see what we can save you. 153 Alabama Street, 256-409-2299. Mom, just wanted to call and check in, see how everything's going. 
he'll probably say not to worry. Everything is great. But we just... We miss you. I'll call you back later. <laughs> Everything's great. I love it here. Why is Sarah Automotive Group on Highway 280 in Silicaga the place for the best deals on your new ride? Three compelling reasons. One, with three full new car dealers on one lot, you get the best in comparison and incentives on Fords, Hondas, and Nissan. This unmatched selection. Two, Sarah pays over market value for your trade to maintain East Central Alabama's best pre-owned vehicle selection and sale. And three, the Sarah Automotive price won't be beat and delivers lower payments and huge value on your next buy. Shop online or on Highway 280 in Silicon. Okay. Everyone, 154 to go in the ball game. Wildcats lead it 33 to 7. Tibby Hat Central Clay, they've had a little help with penalties from us, but uh, ability to run the football here on this final drive and try to get it down with a chance to put another one into the end zone, but it has been. A tough road to hoe against this defense all season long. Seven points given up in the first game to Silicaga. Only seven here tonight with a minute 54 to go in the ball game. And the kids just keep playing hard, too. Even though we're up by 26, they keep playing hard, Brett. Keep battling out there, and I like that about this group. First down and 10 for the balls at the 11. Wishbone formation, 154 to go in the ball game. Counter play back over here to the right what side. And what a play in the backfield. And that is none other than Mr. Ainsley Goggin. What a hit. And I hope that, uh, he's you know, hurt. the issue I don't think is a leg issue. I yeah, think it's a left yeah. arm issue. Yeah, he's Brett. hurt. He's yeah, hurt. Yeah, but he's gimpy on that arm. He may have felt fallen on that, and that's, I mean, that's scary. He took a wallop from Ainsley Goggin. They did the counter back over here to the right. He came up and really took a shot in the lower leg. And like you said, all his momentum kind of went forward on his arm. And Coach Horn's going to come out there to look along with the training staff. And we send our trainer out as well. Coach Grider going to also come out and check on that young man. One forty-four to go. In the ball game, Wildcats in command, 33-7. to seven. Yeah, the scary part of that one, Brett, he never yeah, gonna help moved that arm. Yeah, and they're holding yeah, that left it, arm. It may be broke. He held it down, and you hate to see that. Yeah, that's Santuan Akles. He's a sophomore. Um, they've had some guys go down here in the latter part of this game. We haven't seen Heflin return. Uh, we had another young man that had to be helped off the field, and then now Santuan Akel. So, physical football game. And I'm not sure what Coach Horn's out there. They're going to take him on to the locker room. One forty-four to go in the ball game, and the Wildcats up thirty-three to seven. And hey, look, they're trying to score, and we're trying to keep playing defense. We don't want to let them in the end zone. Haven't stopped playing defense all year, right? Even though we've had big leads both games, boy, when they have scored on us, it has been yeoman's work. <clears throat> yeah, Silicaga really last week that one score. Central Clay, this is the biggest threat they've had since early in the first quarter. Shotgun formation on second and 13. Harris going to hand off left side. Boy, he takes a hit, gets through. What squirts a run. Through. My goodness, touchdown. I tell you, I think he's a good player, Brett. Wow. He's got an extra burst. We had two defenders right there on top of him. and Damian Cosby. I think they found something there. He's, he's the one that Inslee came up and popped. Right. But part of the reason that looked like a big pop in secondary is how hard that young man was running with the football. And uh, he's got an extra gear, and yeah, they're going to need it. They yeah. they aren't very explosive. Heflin's a good player, but he doesn't have not speed a like that. No. That guy's got game break speed. 
And he is a junior, 5'5", he's not big, 162 pounds. There's the snap, the kick's on the way, and the kick's good. So it's 33 to 14, that's your new s, &S discount tire score. 119 to go here. The balls have one timeout left. Don't forget, coming up after the game, it'll be the post-game show coming up. Brought to you by Bice Motors. Bice Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram. And then after the post-game show, it'll be the HSA Radio Network scoreboard show. Coming up at 10 o'clock tonight, Jay Jeff Coat and Luke Robinson bring you all the scores from throughout the state of Alabama from 10 to midnight every Friday night throughout the state of Alabama, the official and most comprehensive scoreboard show in the state. Play Central will kick off. This game was tied at seven. And the Wildcats roared back and have had a 33 to seven lead. Clay Central finally gets back on the board here with a minute and 19 seconds. They'll probably try a little onside kick here. Wildcats have to be ready. You know, and this was an opportunity for the Wildcats to really try to run the clock out, but put some guys in, some second team guys, and ran the ball and fumbled it on the first play. And Here it is. Now it's going to be a deep kick. So field it at the 15. The Wildcats just going to. Now I thought he was just going to take it in. What a hit! Malcolm Simmons over here, left side, and there's a penalty flag. Probably. But Malcolm Simmons came up and said, "Hello." I don't know what some of their players are clapping about, but here's the penalty flag. But. Get a penalty up here. Face mask, I think. Yeah, we'll see. The call is. It's going to be against them. Yeah. I don't know what they were clapping about. What, a five-yard variety? Yeah. We'll take it. 1-10 to go in the ball game. Wildcats have uh, put on another show offensively here tonight, and they put on another defensive show, too. Face mask, five yards. They can be five or 15. Incidental in high school, too. Right. I'm just ready for 110 to evaporate off the clock. Wildcats in the best formation in football. V formation, going to take a snap, going to go to a knee. The Wildcats have come to Central Clay and put on a pretty impressive performance despite Another night riddled with penalties. You start to clean some of this stuff up. And he can really, really get some things going. Wildcats have put a ton of points on the board. 41 last week, 33 this week. Take the snap. He's going to sit there with it. And take a knee. 20 seconds. And that's going to do it. Very good. Coach Grider looks to the stands and gives a thumbs up. Wildcats with a impressive win tonight over the Central Clay Balls, 33 to 14. That's going to wrap it up. We come back, it'll be the Bice Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram postgame show. You're listening to the Wildcat Football Network. 
Lake Martin has a new car buying experience. It's the TR Group of Alex City on Cherokee Road. The TR Group has up to 100 late model vehicles to choose from and will not be beat on price, selection, or financing. With the TR Group, your selection and quality is easy and your good credit is rewarded. But we offer guaranteed financing on our inventory because your future is more important than your past. The TR Group, Lake Martin's new standard in auto sales. Located at 814 Cherokee Road, Alex City, USA. You want the best opportunity to be successful in life. You deserve that opportunity. Well, you just happens to be in our motto, central to you, central to your success. Your future is right now. Don't wait. Make your dreams a reality by enrolling at Central Alabama Community College. Register today at CACC.edu. At CNT Electric, our clients are our priority. For the safety and security of your family and home, our technicians are professionally trained, drug tested, background checked, and wear uniforms with name tags. We're proud to have served the Elk City, Dadeville, and Lake Martin areas for the past 10 years. Give us a call at 256-234-0007 for all your electrical service and repair needs. Or visit us on the web at www.cntelectricllc.com and spell out the word AND. Grace's Flowers in Alexander City on Hillaby Street has been making people happy for decades. Susie Kelly and her friendly staff continue that same great tradition. Grace's Flowers is a full-service florist for all occasions, funerals, weddings, and other special events. In addition to flowers, Grace's has a great gift selection as well. To send a smile or encouragement, call 234-4238 and Grace's Flowers will deliver. Grace's Flowers on Hillaby Street in Alexander City. Amanda Scroggins with Remax Around the Lake will cover every inch of Lake Martin's 880 miles of shoreline to find your family's dream home. Amanda's experience is top notch and she is consistently a top 10 Remax agent in the state of Alabama. Her love for her clients is sincere and from the heart. Call her today at 256 749 6634 or visit her website, amandascroggins.com, today. The all-new Triple R Cafe in Rockford is open and the place for true Southern-style cooking. Open Tuesday through Saturday in downtown Rockford on US 231. The Triple R Cafe serves up true Southern cooking with a meat and three for lunch. And on Friday and Saturday, get the best dinners in the area with fresh from the garden vegetables. Guff-style scallops and shrimp and bayou-style alligator. Central Alabama's new place for Southern-style cooking with a down-home atmosphere. That's the all-new Triple R Cafe in downtown Rockford. You don't have to ask who, what, or why. Who's Diner is the go-to place for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Conveniently located at the corner of Highway 22 and 280 in Alex City, Who's Diner offers the best meals and the best deals in town. Try our fresh made-from-scratch pancakes, chicken salad, Philly cheesesteak, or the Who Burger. It doesn't get any better than who? Who's Diner, of course, on the corner of Highway 22 and 280. Who's hungry? Why is Sarah Automotive Group on Highway 280 in Sylacauga the place for the best deals on your new ride? Three compelling reasons. One, with three full new car dealers on one lot, you get the best in comparison and incentives on Fords, Hondas, and Nissan. with unmatched selection. Two, Sarah pays over market value for your trade to maintain East Central Alabama's best pre-owned vehicle selection and sales. And three, the Sarah Automotive price won't be beat and delivers lower payments and huge value on your next buy. Shop online or on Highway 280 in Sylacauga. Okay. Welcome back everyone to the Bice Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram post game show for the best selection, service, and price. Buy it at Bice. Wildcats win it 33 to 14 here at Central Clay. Improved to 2 and 0 on the season. And Randy, a big win early in the game. Got off to a great start. Knew it was important to get off to a fast start. Had a 55 yard touchdown pass from Gabe Benton to Corey Milner. Kind of set the tone, but Central Clay came right back. Answered that, scored a touchdown. It was tied at seven apiece. It looked like it was going to be one of those games. Uh, but the Wildcats, was able, they were able to swing momentum back and really kind of take control and had a good lead at halftime, and they never really looked back. Coming out in the second half, kind of got off to a sketchy start with a bad drive, but were able to get a punt out of the end zone, kind of swing that field position. Wildcats were able to hold Central Clay down there, and then we took over on the next drive and were able to take it and score another touchdown go up two scores, 
and that's really when the, the thing started rolling for us. And, again, defensively, we were able to shut them down a couple of times and really force them to, to get out of their comfort zone and the Wildcats get out of here with a big win. Well, there's a couple of things that we did here tonight that I think we can be very proud of. And, you know, when you play a Danny Horn coach team, it doesn't matter who you talk to around the state, but it definitely doesn't matter if you're talking to my dad or your dad or anyone else oh, yeah. that likes football. Uh, they're going to point to one thing. Can you match them physically? Absolutely. Can you deal with them going in the wishbone and imposing their will on you? And we can easily stand out here and say tonight that <clears throat> we could. We only completed three passes tonight for that's, 130 that's yards. Uh, three passes, two of them were to Corey Milliner, 121 yards on two receptions for Corey. One's a 55-yard touchdown reception early in the game and another a big gainer that he really just took on a little crossing pattern and was able to make people miss and get up this left sideline for a big gain. But the most important thing is our ability to lean on them in the second half and run the football. Malik Maddox right. was outstanding. He had 70 yards rushing and a touchdown. Malcolm Simmons was all over the field. He had an interception on the defensive side, ran for 102 yards and two touchdowns, and Corey Milliner. If he wanted to prove to you that he was an all-around football player, he did it tonight. He had an interception on the defensive side and four tackles as well. All-around great performance. You beat a Danny Horn coach, Central Clay team, any team from over here in Clay County, and you beat them um, by 19, and it was out of hand early, uh, you've done so. Yeah, that last touchdown, really a mood issue. Uh, just able to punch that in. The game was way in hand by then. Randy, let's talk about the uh, Wildcat play of the game brought to you by Main Street Family Care, where we're committed to helping you heal better and feel better fast. Wildcat play of the game, I'll let you call it. Play of the game is going to be the opening touchdown to Corey Milliner. It was a 55-yarder. It was a flag pattern, threw it to the inside of the field. He turns his head back and finds it, makes a dynamic play on it, and runs it into the end zone to give us a 7 to nothing lead. Congratulations to Gabe Benton. Corey Milner on connecting on the Main Street Family Care Wildcat play of the game, 55-yard touchdown to start the game off. A very good way to start. Now the Dark Insurance player of the game. Don't be in the dark about your insurance needs. Call Dark for all your personal and commercial insurance needs. Dark Insurance player of the game. We're going to share it tonight. Uh, two kids that just played great football all around. When you play as well as they did on offense and defense, you deserve it. That's Corey Milner and Malcolm Simmons. Malcolm had two touchdowns. Corey had 121 yards receiving. Both had interceptions on the defensive side of the ball. They were outstanding out there, the best two athletes on the field. Congratulations to both of them on winning the Dark Insurance Player of the Game. Again, we're going to wrap it up here from Central Clay. Again, the Wildcats win it 33-14, to improved to 2-0. and We'll be back home next week. Actually be home for the first time all season. We'll take on the Calera Eagles. And uh, the first region matchup here of the 2022 season. Again, Wildcats win the game 33-14. to For Randy Lee, I'm Brett Pritchard saying we've enjoyed it. We hope you have. AHSA Radio Network scoreboard show coming up at 10 o'clock. The heat is on, and nowhere gives you more than KiaOfAuburn.com. First, we give you more for your trade-in. Just scan the code to find out how much. Next, the all-new Kia Sportage is here, and you'll be ready for anything. Then, at KiaOfAuburn.com, you can custom order your new Kia just the way you want. Want more? Check out our selection of certified pre-owned Kias with 165-point inspection, complete protection plans, and so much more. Selection, price, trade-in value. You always get it all at Kia of Auburn. Kia of Auburn, where you're always number one. Are you looking to buy a home, but you're having second thoughts because you think it'll be a complicated process? Cross Country Mortgage, your local lender, will make everything smooth, easy, and stress-free for you. When you work with CCM, there are only six simple steps in the home buying process. Pre-approval, application, underwriting, conditional approval, final underwriting, and closing. That's all there is to it. Get started today with their online pre-approval application. Visit crosscountrymortgage.com slash auburn al 4307 We are Debt Relief Agency. We help people file Chapter 7 and Chapter 13 under the Bankruptcy Code. This is Marcia Mason, your local Lake Martin Bankruptcy and Social Security Disability Attorney. Mason Law Firm is located at 217 Madison Street in Alexander City. Call 256-329-1313 to schedule your appointment today. All initial consultations are free and strictly confidential. No representation is made that the quality of legal services to be provided is greater than that of other attorneys. Russell Dewitt Center and Building Supply Stores have the tools and materials to get the job done right, whether you're a professional contractor or just a weekend do-it-yourselfer. 
with everyday customer conveniences like a drive through lumber yard, price match promise, and our best rewards program, each of our nine locations offer top brands and building materials like lumber, hardware, tools, paint, lawn and garden, and much more. Visit today and see what Russell Dewitt Center and Building Supply can help you build tomorrow. Something big is coming. Something so big, it'll change the world of chicken sandwiches. Zaxby's new signature sandwich with Zax sauce or new spicy Zax sauce because the chicken sandwich war ain't over yet. The new signature sandwich. All the other little sandwiches can run along. We'll take it from here. John Strickland says go and buy Strickland's Watts. Yes, Strickland's Watts on Dayville Road. The girls will get those great biscuits ready every day. That's Monday through Friday. Propane now every day. Pellet ice every day. And also, don't forget about the, the fish. Fish and tackle, bait, minnows, and worms. So you're going to get that service. Now you'll get that John Strickland service like, hey, I appreciate it. Y'all come on back and see us at Strickland's Watts. When Americans needed a car that worked harder than a car, we built them a truck. And they used our trucks to build interstates, and industries, and communities, livelihoods, and neighborhoods. Americans needed vehicles worthy of who they are and what they can do. So, we built them a truck. <laughs> 